Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. Well, tonight, what? What are you playing at? Oh, sorry, I've got a wire, I can't see that. Oh. <laughs> uh, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. So, we have gone live on our main business page um, as a little treat for you today. I'm going to do it every now and again. And those of you who are in the Learning Hub, Karen has just shared this into the Learning Hub, but I'll set it up properly. I I mean, you know, if you haven't, don't worry about it, I'll set it up later on. So basically, so we can keep all comments in one place. So what am I doing tonight? Oh, first of all, Karen's in the kitchen. Hi, Karen. Hello there. And Simon's on camera. Hi. Hi. I'm right. waving. Are you waving? waving oh, he's going to be everyone. a bit more chatty today. Right then. So you want me to talk? Eh? You want me to talk? When well, I ask you to, yeah. <laughs> no? Did it work? <laughs> what? Just look at my name, but I have pinned it as an announcement. <laughs> So, Bridget's Cake Room, this is what we're going to do tonight. Now, I haven't done this. I was just looking. It was last year, the last time I used one of these. Now, I've got to be honest, I've done two this afternoon. And uh, both of them, I did the wrong way around. I'm chatting to Karen. Doom, doom, doom. And, uh, so, I'm going to get them out. I don't know what they look like when we take the cover off. But I suspect one, when we take the cover off, will actually not have a bottom. And the other one, we made it with uh, butter ganache. So, butter ganache, just Google butter ganache. The recipe's there. It's been going for years, butter ganache. So, just have a little Google of that and then um it's it's you'll either love it or you'll hate it it's one or the other we haven't made our mind I'm, yet, I'm on the fence and when i had the second taste it wasn't too bad yeah yeah no. but I'm, I'm on the fence with it but you know what it's not nasty no nope. <laughs> so bridges cake tin liner okay so this is the one and only ganashing kit so this was invented by some lovely ladies in ireland mainly a lady called bridget now many many uh moons ago she brought out um a biscuit liner and that's where this is originated from really so let's open the box and let's show you what it is i'm talking about so this is the five inch round and oh sorry karen how's our audience doing well, they're great, 221. Oh, oh, that's what we like page. good have you missed me then <laughs> <laughs> mind you we're getting 300 in the group though yeah. aren't we so let's just show you what's in the in the box and of course we do do it the carol mcfarland way all right i'm sure i'm sure the girls in that's ireland are the wrong right. way. It's my, way. <laughs> my way. Hard luck. <laughs> um, right, okay, so this is the five inch one. I'm not going to use this one, so I'm just going to show it you. So in the kit, you get a piece of foam, okay, and that goes in your tin, which I've just realised I need a six inch tin. Yep. Just bear with in my the cupboard. No, 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 I just um Drywall. Drywall? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I actually can't. Oh, that's fine, yeah. Use this little one. Here. So uh, let's just pretend this is a five inch tin, but basically this would fit in your five inch tin. This is your liner. Now when you get your liner, okay, you really must give it a little bit of a squeezy action. So we're not doing the stroking action, we're doing a bit of squeezy action. So you have a film on it first, so peel the film off, okay? And then you must roll it a couple of times just to help loosen it up. Okay, so roll it as tight as you can. And if you can, roll it smaller than what it was in the box. Put your elastic band around it. So this is when you get it new. Okay, so that we can just sort of loosen it up a little bit. Just makes it a lot easier because it's quite stiff. This must never go in the dishwasher. It will warp and you must never put it in boiling hot water it will warp okay you wash this in warm soapy water you can wash it flat so you can get a nice hot cloth if you want to and give it a wash over the top how do you wash yours karen i washed it i actually put it off my arm and i washed it in the sink with soapy water then yeah. rinsed it and then i dried it the same way so and i dried it both sides and i got it really shiny ah, right good so make sure no dishwasher no boiling hot water okay so just nice warm to hot soapy water give it a wipe uh, and that will be it, be good to go. But when you get it, you know, sort of flex it, bend it around a little bit. So Karen, what are you doing now? I've got a oh, tin. You, no, you need one for your, you need one for your cake. What cake? I thought you've got one for your, uh, when you need buttercream cake in a minute. Oh, well, this one won't come out of the fridge, will it? Yeah. We'll be set. Oh, sorry. Okay. Well, we'll do this. Yeah. 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 Right, okay then. I'm so, I've, got, I've no pans now, I've got loads of pans. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> So, let's see what Karen's saying on comments. And then in there, you get this little thing. Don't throw this away if you need this, because it goes on the bottom of that. So bear in mind, this is a five inch, and I'm doing a six inch today. So you get can, this can container. Clarify, yeah. For, a five, for, for the five inch kit, you need a five inch tin. 
correct? Should we get to that or in a bit? Or does it make a five inch cake? Right. We're doing so it the Carol it McFarland way, okay? So, is that somebody asking a question or is that you starting trouble That's already? That's me asking the question, because right. you, you said. Did I say to... you could speak yet? Yes, you did. <laughs> right at the you said... Did we say you could speak? <laughs> You do get a nice squeezy bottle to put your mix in. Personally, I don't use it. We store caramel in it and other bits of stuff in ours. So um, so it's handy to have, but uh, we don't use it. All right? Well, Lisa so. Devlin's so excited because she's got one of these and loves it. Oh, do you? Do you use it? Yeah. And then you get this little thing and it's called a clip it. Okay? So um, there we go. It's a clip it. I'll show you how this works. Now, this liner comes in five five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve okay um i'm not going to be selling the elevens and twelves anymore i think i've got two twelves left and the elevens i'm just going to keep to the fives and tens so if you want a 12 grab it tonight because they'll be the last two and then after that we're not going to be selling anymore and we do do the square ganache and kit so i'm going to come back over the next few weeks and show you different way, different ways of doing them so I'm going, to, I'm going to make it with buttercream tonight i was going to do swiss meringue buttercream but lots of you've been following me and you know i'm on my third 16 hour day and i'm really tired so i've decided to do an, an, an isomalt when i can get out an isomalt sale, sale. <laughs> <laughs> if i can remember how to do one of those instead so this is a five inch okay remember tighten it up loosen it up don't fold it the other way don't try rolling it the other way thinking that will help it won't all right so it's very stiff so you just need to keep rolling it and when you dry it and put it away fold it back as tight as you can uh, as you can don't bother with that just put that in the cupboard somewhere else but fold that as tight as you can okay well, John's watching. it's soften john's watching and he just says, good question Sarah. oh yeah oh, yeah. freaking boys stick all together boys club. yeah <laughs> perfectly going, reasonable question and they're all going poor simon poor simon, poor simon. you haven't put up with him all day <laughs> hey do you know what he's like an angel when he's here with you lot hey you have no idea. And Claire's on. He's Claire. laughing there. Claire, Claire will verify you. have been a pain in the bum yesterday and today, so she yeah. will verify that. No, she will not. <laughs> <laughs> she will. <laughs> All right, so let me just put that there, that there, that in there. Uh, if you notice, I've not put anything back. They use all this for storing stuff in. So I'll put all them in there. And then we'll make ours. Up there and then so you get this piece of foam now what we i'm never going to use this but if you want to know how to use this go on to the girls website bridges cake room they're based in ireland but they're called uh, bridges cake room uh, dot ie and they've got loads of videos so just go on google and have a look and they'll show you how to use this but i'm going to show you another way lisa doesn't use the bottle either because you can't get it in the mold no i can't um, and Claire said she does confirm, yes, you have been a pain. Good, thanks, Claire. <laughs> That's you getting another shift next week. <laughs> <laughs> he answers back all day, he brings it on himself. So, <laughs> I went, I went they put my teeth back in. Sue Evans is saying, Is the patchwork blocks back in stock yet? Oh, do you know what? I may not have updated the stock, they arrived yesterday i think they arrived yesterday i don't know if you updated the stock we've got loads of them anyhow so if they're not on the website um don't place your order yet wait till later yeah and i'll have a look what the stock's been all right then so uh god i'm glad you've said that you know because i don't think i have updated the stock right all right then so i'm all I'm all over the place me at the moment, thinking about what I'm going to do. We've right. got close to 300 watching you. Good, good, that's what we like. Right, so you whip your butter till it's lovely and soft, okay? So try and whip it as long as you can till it's lovely and soft. So what we've done here is, um, I'm going to make um, a kilo of buttercream. So I've used 250, 500 grams of butter, so that's two 250 gram packs of butter. I've chopped it up, cubed it, and then I've put it in here. Now when I've shown you before, I've added hot water to loosen it. I know some of you get a bit nervous with adding the hot water. So today we're gonna use the microwave method, yeah? 
Right, and we are using flavoured icing sugar today. So this is the white chocolate and raspberry. We're using this, but Karen's got five kilo bags, so she has already weighed it out. So instead of me opening two of these, she's going to me. Good go, you, Karen. Well, I like to just keep you good books. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to chop this in. So all we're going to do is put this in. Carol broad. Can you do a buttercream ombre effect? And Lindsay pays and says, no pressure, Carol. <laughs> what does she want me to do? A buttercream ombre Yeah, you effect. know what? Why don't we have a play at doing why that? Not? I've never done one before, but why not? See, Carol, ask and you get. Well, not everything. Anyhow, what are you doing home from work, Carol Broad? You're oh, normally on shifts. Oh, she's sneaking a peek at work. Yes. So when are, when are the delicious cocoa powders back in stock, asked Geraldine, who's got a cupboard full at home. Yeah. Geraldine can sell you some. When she comes up and does her live here, she can bring stock with her. So the decision has been made that we are discontinued, well, we've discontinued the coconut, which I'm very sad about because oh, it's so delicious. Nice. We've discontinued the lime, which I'm really even more sad about because that was probably my favourite. Um, we're going to keep the orange and cherry. We're going to keep the orange because um, Hobbycraft buy it. So we're going to keep the orange. Uh, we was going to tell them it was discontinued, but it seems you lot have put up a fight to keep it. So we're going to keep that. We're going to keep cherry. So we've got two flavours and we'll keep the unflavoured as well. So we just need John to sort out the packaging and uh, we'll be fine. So chop in your butter. Right, and I'm using a small spatula here for, for some reason, no idea why. So... For this size um, cake that you're using, how much buttercream are you going to be making? I've got to be honest, I've no idea. So I always make my life very easy and go for a kilo. And then I always have far too much and I'll put it in the fridge and save it the next time. Well, uh, let me just weigh another 500 grams out. Pardon? I don't think there's a kilo in there. You said there's a kilo in there. It's a full bowl, Karen. Yeah, yeah. You've given so me two, you've given me two no, slabs of butter. Yeah, it's the other one. It's all right. It's the other one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're getting confused with whipping yes, it up. Yes, I am, I am. We was going to do yeah. whipping it up before. I was going to say, it looked like a kilo. Yeah, that no, was a very big was, bag no, otherwise. It, it was, it was, no, it was. Uh, what it was, it was because of the, uh, the butter, you know, twist around buttercream. Yeah. So we was going to do two cakes tonight, but... It's going to be a long live this anyhow because I'm really tired and I think you can already tell I can't think. <laughs> Donna Jeffrey says, when she goes to Hobbycraft, yeah. she says to herself, I know that lady. Do you know, isn't it funny? I get my family, about distant family members, it, my brother did it, he lives in Brighton and he did it this week, he took a picture, he walked past a cake shop, took a picture and went, here's your stuff, you know. Not is your lovely delicious ice and sugars. <laughs> so went great, which shop's that in? Never heard from him again. <laughs> it's a man thing, isn't it? Don't respond, he sent me a picture, that'll do. Right, so this is going to go on the mixer. So at the moment we're just making normal buttercream, yeah? So let me just have a little spin with the mixer. Yeah, there we go. And then we're going to put it on nice and slow. Normally I chop it in a bit more as well, but tired. So we'll just do it nice and slow. So Karen and I have decided, John's going mad. So Karen and I have decided we're on a mission. And um, during COVID we moved warehouses and in the other warehouse, the other warehouse was absolutely round to the rooftops. So honestly, we couldn't find things at all. There was all sorts. And then when we moved warehouses, because we were all separated and we had to do different shifts, um, and because one shift was doing this and one shift was doing that, over a period of time, we found that stuff has been put here, there and everywhere and we can't find stuff. So I said to Karen, right, me and you need to get down there and sort it out. And then we had the reception and all the cakes that were made on dummies has just been shoved in the reception area. And the nifty nozzles is behind reception and that's just got bigger and bigger and lots of places is just... Oh, it's just overcrowded. And you leave men to run the warehouse, they're just not organised. So I said to Karen, we've got to get down there and sort it out because me and her smash it. Anyhow, Simon and Claire work here now in the kitchen on a Tuesday and Wednesday, so it's a great excuse for me and Karen to get off down there. So we've been doing 7 a.m. starts and Karen loves it because she does all her hours and tomorrow she's finished by three and then she scoops off and will go back into the next <laughs> Monday. So don't worry, Karen McFarland's hardcore, still going for it. I do think of you. 
I know you do. I know. Right. <laughs> so, um, but it's great fun, and it's great working with somebody who's uh, adaptable. So, but uh, and I love beating her into work. So I love saying to her, I was in work at half six today. I was in work at what past? Because I, I got in at quarter to seven, I pulled up at quarter to seven and I thought, oh, no, that was having me kind of thought, the lights on, then I thought, there she is, what time did she get in? Well, it's really funny, the operations manager was in that early on Tuesday, Tuesday yes. that James had locked up and he, he actually thought he'd left the, all the lights on. And the shutters up. <laughs> and the shutters up, because John had come home in the works van and I came back in the works van. So he, and he drives the works van, James. He completely forgot that John had borrowed it, yeah. and um, and he thought he'd left all the shutters up, the lights on, and he was scared to death. And then he could hear a noise in the office, and he's like, "Oh God, there's somebody in." He's never been so relieved to see me. So, <laughs> had a great time. Right. Okay. So this butter now is really far too stiff. All right. So we're going to melt it in the microwave. So we're going to transfer it from here because I can't put a metal bowl in the microwave. Well, Bernadette O'Neill says yeah. the three shops in Ireland you can get, you know, the sugar, the, the sugars from. Yeah. And she's trying to get them to buy you chocolate. Yes, very good. We'll wait till we do the new. Wait till we rebrand it because we've just got. We're just getting rid of this last batch of chocolate now, and then we're going to call it its official name. And Nikki King says Carol's so hardcore. She hasn't had any work. Do you know what that was about? You will not believe. So I'm in work. I'm on it. This is the day that I was in really early. And uh, James had thought we'd been robbed. So I'm there and John sends me a text message. And I didn't bother reading. I feel, you know when you feel your arm? Bleep, bleep, bleep. I thought, oh, what's that? Next minute he rings me. Amy's here. And then she rings me. Goes, Carol, I'm at your house. Where are you? <laughs> For God's sake. And I went, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I said, I said, it's up to you, and I was having a colour. So I, normally, if, I, if I'm missing an appointment, I just pay her. And she never takes the money. She always says, look, I don't want the money. But I, I look at it, at the end of the day, she was booked, it, booked in. But because it was a colour, I said, oh, you don't fancy coming down to work, do you? Mainly because I didn't want to go back home. You didn't have a car. Hey? Oh, we didn't have a car, that's why. <laughs> yeah, because James had took it by then. He took it in the van, hadn't they? So she said, no, go on, I'll come down. I said, good, I'll give you some extra money. Thank you very much. I'm there in the kitchen, clearing the sink so you could have your head up. Yeah. So I said, right, go up to my bathroom, go and find the shower, uh, go and find the shampoo, find the conditioner. So she's rooting around the house. <laughs> then she comes in work and then the girls are sat there watching me having a colour. And the funniest thing is the lads come up. I forget that I've got colour on me. I don't like <laughs> what do you want? Yeah. Oh, you want that, dear? Oh, right. Okay, that's there. I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> now, Claire's saying here, did you know you can put stainless steel in the microwave? I didn't know. I didn't know that. And, a lot later, and I said I'm too chicken to try it. I'm not trying it. No. I've seen it spark. I ain't never doing it again. She said it's foil. It's alum it, uh, aluminium aluminum. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. That. I, have that, I had that conversation with Nicholas Lodge. I had no idea what he was talking about. Right. So what, you can put stainless steel in, or is it... The you can put stainless steel, you can't put tin foil in, but you oh, can put stainless right. steel. I'm not sure about that. This is Claire, this, I'm not yeah, trying, I'm sorry. I'm going to have... Yeah, anyway, we're going to have tests Do it out, in your we? own microwave. Can you, test it, you test it at your flat, Simon, tonight? I'm not <laughs> testing it, no, He's, I don't, not I want it. It. He's on our side, Cameron, shut up. <laughs> I'm not testing my microwave, just to... <laughs> Just to prove Claire wrong. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm just going to soften a bit, soften a bit of this up in a minute because I've realised I'm speeding ahead doing my buttercream and I haven't prepared my cake. Can I just um, Sharon? Um, just come out and go away, go out and come back in if your sound's not syncing up. Yeah. So we've got these lovely cutters. I would like to find ways of you cutting them. Okay. So in the Bridges Cake Room kit, what they do is, if you buy um, a size, do you know what, I'm not even going to bother to explain it because I confuse myself, let's just do it my way. So we've got the cakes, okay, and then these are six inch cakes and I'm going to cut them down to five inch. So if you've got five inch tins, why don't we bake five inch ones today? Because we've got five inch, inch tins. tins. Are we not going to five inch tins? Us? No. Oh, we're poor or so, aren't we? <laughs> we're going to get the off cuts. Yeah. So what's that? Yeah, so the five and a half inch cutter I'm using, not the five inch. So I'm going to just trim off everything there. Yep. 
So if we just bake it in a five inch tin, uh, a five inch tin. Right, let me get both from the cuts. The birdies will be happy tomorrow. It's alright Claire, That's when one. you froze your loads, you don't need any more. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were saving the off cuts for Claire today. And then Karen and I d nose dived in and ate them. I had one. Karen said, no, we're not eating them. I said, no, no, I need, I need to have a piece, Karen. So then she was in it. We only had a little bit each. Right? I must admit, we didn't, we didn't do what we usually do. We didn't eat loads. We only had one no. little bit each. I know. So yes, Natasha, we do sell these cutters. Yeah, It's we a do. tin of 19 cutters by PME. And the tin's gone, it's changed to a pink colour now. Right. Okay. So cut those lovely and neat. Get rid of that. Get rid of all my crumbs. Wait a minute. So let me just clean my cutter. Don't put it back in your tin, it makes it all um you end up with cake bits all over. Just give it a good wipe after. So move all that over there. So this is all going to the birdies, so thinking of that tomorrow. Sorry, will you open that door again? Are you up, Karen? Yeah. I don't know what's going on with me and her today, but we're on fire. Yeah, I've seen the spammer alert. Don't worry, I've just got rid of him. Oh, he was here last week, wasn't he? Have you deleted him? Yeah, so I blocked him. Yeah. Sammy Tall. So <laughs> I'll give you some blessings. I blessed him. I said goodbye. He doesn't realise he's got 300 women here that'll give him a blessing back. <laughs> Beginning with a P. Right, so I just need to think what I'm doing. Six inch liner. Is this what I'm using here? Oh, am I on my cakes? Yes. Oh, I'm going to have to reveal my cake now, answer to use one. Yes, because I kept thinking, oh, oh, will um, <laughs> Right, well, I best reveal my cake. We were upstairs, we've got a seven inch, we could actually make a bit smaller. No, no, because it'd be too tight. Okay, that's right, fine. I'll have to reveal my cakes now then. Just have to open up this set. So, Rose Sheridan's asking, can we use the flavour shots in the cocoa powder? Yeah. In yeah. the in the unflavoured one, absolutely. We can in the flavoured one, but I won't waste your money. No, Gemma, this is the only size tin of rings that we do. We don't do any bigger ones. No, we well, actually we did. Yeah, we, I think, yeah. I think they, they, they'd fly out if they did bigger ones. Yeah. So I was chatting away today. I decided to make the, well, actually, Claire Corbett said, why don't you do a butter ganache one? And I went, what's butter ganache? <laughs> Never heard of freaking butter ganache. Anyhow, so she said, I don't really know, but I think you should give it a go. So we went on to good old Google. That's why I said to you before, have a look at Google. And anyhow, it's been out for years, apparently. So we made this butter ganache. So it's basically chocolate and butter melted. And then we put it in here. But I was that busy crumb coating and putting all my cake together. I'm not sure whether it's gone to the bottom. So do you want to pass this out to the table, Karen? Yeah. Um, that one would do. Yeah. Is it a teacup? No. I just, I always, I always grip it, you know, to see which one it is. Yeah, thanks very much. Oh, no, the teacup one, where is it? It's there, one? on the bottom shelf. Because I, like, I don't like getting all of it. <laughs> so let's just sit that on there a minute. So, it's, so I have missed a bit. I bloody knew I had. Right, okay. Anyhow, so I have missed a bit. Have I missed any more? So this is our first time. So I'm going to come back and do this another time with you. So I'm just hoping that this is ready to come off now. Wow, look wow. at this. Oh, look. look at that. Look at that. That's all right, isn't it? So this is with our tempered chocolate. So I'll tell you what we did. So, do you want to wash that for me, Karen? Yeah. And we used, I went a little bit heavy handed, we used the oil based colouring uh, Velvet Rose by um, Sugar Flare Colours. Now, isn't that lovely that? So, we do need to get a hot knife, but I'm not going to do it now because I haven't got time. But we're going to get a hot knife and we could do with sorting that out. And I'll need to make a little bit more because I've got a lovely hole there. Can you see it? Sorry? Yeah, I can see it. I've got a lovely hole there and I've got a bigger hole here and what I did was I was chatting to Karen and I stacked pardon what, what are you looking for 
Right. So I was chatting to Karen, and uh, I, for some re reason I went into autopilot mode of uh, stacking my cake and crumb coating it. So I crumb coated it, then I put it in the tin, and honestly, if you'd seen what happened in this kitchen today, you would have died laughing. So I then had to get it in the tin. I thought, what have I crumb coated it for? And you'll see why in a minute. Then I made the butter ganache, and then the next minute, so it's going in all lovely, and then next minute the butter ganache is up here, and then it just drops, all four of us are looking at it, it drops to here. And I was that busy thinking that all the ganache was going to come out the bottom, a loose bottom tin, that I hadn't noticed that the cake had risen, hadn't it Karen? Yeah, so it risen, cake. started floating. So if you're going to use butter ganache, okay, make sure that you, um, make sure, well, we'll do it on a live, make sure that you um, cool your cake down in the freezer for a bit first and then put it on to firm it up. So then what I had to do then is I had to catch it. So to catch it, so to get, I had to get it out of the container with everything in. I ended up with a ring around my arm here. Karen's got the bowl. <laughs> while we then got it on another board, while we put it in the fridge, we got all the, all the butter ganache that was coming off and um, saved it all, put this in the freezer, sorry. I think we'd give it a half an hour in the freezer, yeah. didn't we? And then you it up. Shall I say to No. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we freezed it up, freezed it up, and then um, and then we started again. So once the, once the cake had calmed down, it was fine. And look how lovely that is. So yes, we have got an error, but overall, it's beautiful, isn't it? What do you think? Oh, I think it's great. Yeah? Love, love heart's gonna pay yeah. for it. So we'll come back and we'll do the butter ganache another time but if you want to go ahead and do it before me feel free so can i have another stand Karen, to put this yeah. on please also when you take your cakes out your freezer get on with it okay don't leave them to warm up so i'm pushing me luck talking now so get on with it don't leave them to warm up because when you leave them to warm up they start to stick into the cover yeah so, um, isn't that lovely and shiny? And that's our um, white tempered chocolate, that. So, and our chocolate is not real chocolate, as you know. It's um, a compound chocolate. And, um, but that's what it is. So you can use that, yeah? And we threw in a flavour shot. We threw in salted caramel in that. Yeah? Clever. It was hilarious. Yes. Yeah, and it was, it was more hilarious. As John come in and said, right, shall I take some action shots? And we're like, oh, no, not at all. So then, because I'm now, now, now that I'm off sync, um, sync and, I, and I'm still not with myself at the moment. Well, I love that colour you've done on that cake. Yeah, and it was gorgeous. that. It was that uh, violet rose, that one. So then I went, only went and did the same thing with this. So now I don't know that this should be the, the bottom, should be the top of the cake, and this should be the bottom. So I don't know now what I've got. So where's that, um, where's that thing I've just pressed down to on there? That is what have I done? Have I just moved it somewhere? Say, okay, that's it. What's up? Except I've just bought another one. Another spammer? Jawa, Mohammed. <laughs> the best thing to do, girls, if the spammers come on, just ignore them, okay? Don't give them any anything. Just Simon and Karen will look out for them. So this isn't ready to come out yet. They've missed us on this page. <laughs> have you? Well, you should come and join us in the hub. That's what you should do. 30p a session. I don't know what's wrong here with you, are you not joining us? We've got over 700 members in there now, and um, it's absolutely great. And some of you are saying, oh, I'm thinking about it, but it's fabulous. Everything's all saved in one place. All the lives are saved in one place. There's a calendar, calendar there, so you can see throughout the year. So there'll be a full year, so you can go back into the calendar, see what everything was done. The recipes are all in there. Um, it's great in there. Don't know why you don't invest. Right, this isn't ready to come out yet. So if you're doing ganache, the buttercream will be fine for a minute, but if you're doing ganache, get it off straight away. So we'll just give this a couple of minutes. In fact, I'll say what, I'll get a tea towel. Give us that tea towel, Karen. Right. Oops, sugar. Watch me knock my chin out in a minute. Oh God, no. <laughs> Dentist tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he'll have to wait. Right, so there you go. Right, okay. So, <laughs> Tom says us. we can get Dr. Omawara to do a live. He looks like he can cure all ailments. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay then. So, wow, I just realised, thank you. 
413 viewers. Oh, is there? Oh, yeah. fantastic. God, you have missed it. It's getting me hub, honestly. You want to be in the Make It, Bake It, Decorate It Learning Hub. You can find it on our website. You can pay monthly, quarterly, or annually. The annually one is the cheapest one. That works out at 30p per session. And you'll love it in there. And you get discounts. You get discounts on classes, goodies. There's lots of things that we've got to offer you through the year. You also get notified of offers first. Um, what am I doing? A ganache kit, aren't I? <laughs> Where's my ganache thing? Here. And where's my clip it? You didn't give me the clip it. You said it at the side, you didn't it there. No, turn, turn around. Oh, there <laughs> Just thought I'd do a twirl for you. Well, I'm saying you're looking very trim. I'm saying you're looking good, Carol. I'm looking trim. <laughs> Don't know about that. So, I'm just thinking what I've got to do, Karen. You've got to... You've got I your need the line. Have you, have you got your... Have you got your um, what's it called? Was that still on the bottom of the cake? Yes. Is it still on the bottom of the cake? Yes, there's one in there. That's a five. Is it still on the bottom of this cake? I can see it, yes. You see it? There you go. Still on the cake. Sorry, we'll get it off. <laughs> we won't get it off. I'll use this to mop them off. I haven't got time for that. <laughs> Can you imagine if I was doing two cakes? Let's use a piece of that um, in there. Yeah, in that one. Yeah, absolutely. How much have you missed me? I'm I was going to say, I'm not sure why there's so many people wondering where we are tonight when, when they're here watching. <laughs> yeah, where are you? I don't know where I am. Don't you lot start? Oh, some of them were thinking, it, it's, uh, they said about the spam, how did they get in? They think, were thinking they were in the hub, they forgot they were on the business page. Ah, yeah, no, we're on the business page tonight. We're trying Please, to recruit. I'm you must have clicked on the page, Lee. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, everybody who's in the hub, go and tell all those who are not in the hub why they should be in the hub. So what, what it is, is that Sugar and Crumbs has been doing Facebook Lives free of charge for six years. We've gone past the 13th, 11th. Yeah, we've gone past it. Over oh, six years old. We haven't celebrated it ever. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, happy birthday it's to yours. Sugar and Crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, we're 13 years old, uh, 13 years old, John. We're um, six years live. Six years live. So the 11th or the 13th of February. Can't remember, we've been doing them. Anyhow, basically, looking at the way things are costing and everything's going up, uh, we do them, we do them free. And, um, you know, we've got shooters to pay, ingredients to pay for. This kitchen doesn't come free. As much as Simon and Karen love being in here, they don't, if they want to be paid as well, you know, cameras cost a lot of money. The setup costs a lot of money. So it was either jacking the lives, we stop them, or we ask you to pay a contribution of 30 pence. And over a year, that's 59.99. And I think, you know, over all the years that we've supported you, it'd be nice if you come back and say, you know, I'm going to give them 30p a week, uh, 30p a session, and join them. And that's what it's about, really. Otherwise, we were basically just going to have to stop doing them. So I'm still rabbiting on that's myself. That's what Sharon Rose just said. Is it, yeah? Join the hub, or should I say the hug? Yes. Fun discounts, more classes, and info on what's not to Yeah, look, no, it's fun, it's great in there. And the, and the community spirit in there is absolutely lovely. Our cake community spirit is fabulous, but in the hub it's different, isn't it? Yeah. Right, okay, so can you go to the overhead, Simon? Right, if you're using the Bridges Cake Room liner, okay, you would use a five inch cake okay in a six inch tin you would put the foam around okay and then you put this inside the foam and then you use your cake and the reason you do that is for ganache cake so that you don't do thick layers of ganache but i'm doing buttercream okay so ours is going in like that i'm not adding the clip it yet because we've got cake and things to put in yeah so we've got a liner down there then we were going to go and soften the buttercream that's what we're going to do and we're going to get a bowl we're going to do some Somebody's asked us to do different colours, haven't they? Yes. Uh, this is going to be fun. So, after putting all that into that big bowl, because we're doing different colours, I shall put bits in small bowls. Evening, Karen. Are you enjoying your holiday? She, she comes home tomorrow, she doesn't she? Right. She's gone for 10 days. I thought she'd gone for two weeks. 
We've saved customer services for you, Karen. <laughs> we decided not to answer any questions for two weeks. Waiting for you to come in on Monday. <laughs> so what I'm doing is, somebody's asked me to do this in Carol Broad, that was it. Carol It's asked us to do an ombre, so we're just going to do this in different colours. So yeah. how long did you microwave the buttercream for? I haven't microwaved it yet. There you go. So because now that we're doing ombre, I don't want to, I need it soft. And I need more piping bags now. Right, which I can get out in a minute. Let me put that over there. Let's get some colour in. Let's use some of these colours. So we'll use this uh, velvet one. We'll use the um, Misty Rose. And we'll use, there's a lilac one. We'll use well, the... Well, Marie Taylor's so glad you're doing this demo, Carol, because she's bought the kit at the cake show and she's tried doing it and it's a nightmare. Yeah, great. So then she's also watching If you meet the girls show. there, they're great girls, aren't they? So uh, we'll do that one. And um, what else? We'll go with the... Yes, we are, Geraldine. We're going to be filling bags tonight. And you did excited, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, bag filling. Right, so we've got far too much buttercream. So we'll just put a couple of drops of this in. Yep. So anybody who wants a break now, uh, because they're bored of watching me colouring, off you go, go and have a break, go and have a chat with your husband, go and do what you want, because I'm just colouring at the moment. So I haven't tried any of these colours apart from the Velvet Rose. Was it Velvet Rose that we used here? Yeah. So, Sean Weeks is saying, uh, what do we use a whipping it flavoured shots for? Oh, can I talk about that on another day? <laughs> so, um, so the, the shots are for, they were designed, we, we've got customers all around the world that want our icing sugars, yeah? And they want our whipping it up, because it, as you know, it's the only multi um, kit out there. Um, so, shipping now is so expensive that for us to get it anywhere it was always more expensive than the bag of icing sugar or the bag of um, whipping it up but now it's doubled that so what we've done is we thought of using a flavor shot and um, making a, con um, a condensed a con concentrated version not a condensed version a concentrated version so that when it's cheaper to be shipped because it's lighter because there's only 70 grams in it as opposed to 500 and then all you do is add it to your icing sugar that's all you do add it to your icing sugar mix it in and then you can leave it to infuse if you want to um okay just one second let's get the chair and then you just use it as normal as a big bag that's all you do so what are those colors that we're using there tonight what makes so we colors? are using sugar flare but this is misty rose and that doesn't seem to be given a lot of color that one So I'm going to use the heather now. I do only want pastel. I was hoping to have a bit more than that. So this is the heather colour. So this should give us a nice soft lilac colour. And then we're going to put these in the microwave and soften them down. But I'll do them one, one at a time. Be easier for me to mix once it's melted in the microwave as well. Yeah, Claire says she's found that the Misty Rose is quite a pale pink. Yeah, it is. Probably why it's called Misty. Now it's a clue in it, isn't it? Misty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm adding more colour there, I think. It's not going very pink, this, is it? Right, and Heather is a lighter version of the violet. So. So these are Sugar Flare oil colours. And we do another set of oil colours as well, but they've sold out, so I need to order some more tomorrow. And that is um, the new, what's it called? Is it called uh, Cocoa Butter? Cocoa Butter. Cocoa yeah. Butter colours. So Karen Hardwick says she's made the butter ganache with white chocolate. If she wants to flavour it, what does she use to flavour it with? Use the flavour shots. Okay, so if you made the ganache, so what I would do is, 
is civet. Now I, I did this today, I just threw the flavour shot in with the ganache, but the ganache, because it had been melted in the microwave, I think it was a bit of a shock to the flavour shot because we just ended up with lumps. So we've had a bit of an afternoon, me and Karen, let me tell you. So then uh, we had to civet. It was great, we didn't have any lumps afterwards, we just had to civet a couple of times. Because they get the pleasure of you commenting. Yeah, but I'm just thinking if they've given me a link, it might be something yeah. that'll it'll give a virus yeah. on there. Yeah. Don't open the yeah. link. Just, just ignore them. Just ignore them. Don't send an angry face. Don't do nothing. Don't even click on their comment. You get this, don't you? I don't know what enjoyment they get out of it. And the thing is, the more that you say anything, the more that they're there. They work in teams. We're not getting past me. <laughs> right, okay. Right, I think that's that's nice. I'm just not sure whether I like that colour there. Can you see that? It looks like a beige on there, doesn't it? But it's not. Which one looks like a beige? This one. You think it looks like a beige? What's it look like to you? It's like it. it look like it's like a very light. I mean, on the screen. It's the same on screen as it does in the box. Yeah, yeah, does it? Yeah. Yeah, but what colour is that? Beige. beige it's like, yeah. a, it's like a, a beigey caramel. You need to add more to protect it. To, yeah. Because you, you've got to overcome the, the, the elements of the buttercream before you can yeah. start getting the colour to show through. That one more says beige. <laughs> so we said it looks grey. No, it's not quite grey. <laughs> no, not grey. <laughs> Bradbury looks like latte. <laughs> beige. <laughs> Latte is the new beige, isn't it? <laughs> no, beige is the new latte, is it? <laughs> right, so I'll get my bags ready. So I'm just going to put these in the microwave now. I'll put them in one at a time. And just let me go and get some cups to stand them up in. Because somebody's asked me to do... I'm cake on here. So I'm not too sure, Michaela. Um, I'll ask Carol again. How much buttercream for an eight-inch cake? How much buttercream? Just for a normal one. Um, not to, not to, uh, to do this, what you're doing now. Well, I'm using a kilo, and I'll have some over. I think I'll have some over. We'll know in a minute, won't we? And this is a six-inch. Okay, right. I'm not putting the clipper on yet. So this is going in the microwave. So you can see how firm it is, can't you? So it's firm. Put it in the microwave. Seconds. So we'll put that in there 30 seconds. Some big piping bags here. Do you know where that other big piping bag is? I did use it. Did I use it before? I use small one. So Jane's asking, do we have to use a loose bottom tin? No, it just takes a bit longer to get out of the tin, that's all. So I put this in the microwave for 25 seconds so it's lovely and soft. Okay. Really, what I should have done is. Oh, it's split now. Crikey. A bit at a time. <laughs> oh, have you done that? Have you done that rule, have we? I've done it. I'm going to freaking split it. Right, that's no good. Right, okay. seconds at a time. I'll have to stand off the screen a minute. It's a great audience tonight, really good audience. Ten seconds at a time ladies and then stir, mix in. What I've done there is I've gone and split that. So Karen I'll give that to you to stir if you don't mind. No. Debbie Tarkotl says, we didn't like beige anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Debs. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't know if I've got enough buttercream now, that's the only thing. Teresa Powell's asking, please can she ask when the FMM cutters will be back in stock? Uh, when I place an order tomorrow, they should be here by Monday. 
So I'm just going to jump in and soften these together. Soften, so tell us what you're doing with that one, Karen. I'm just bring it back. Karen, I'm just stirring it. Yeah. I don't think we're going to be able to bring it back yet. I think it needs cooling, doesn't yeah. it? Because you've got to get the oils back into the picture, haven't you? Yeah. She said, we've all done it, Carol. No. <laughs> I've freaking just nearly done it again. So you can save split buttercream, uh, Zoe. You have to let it cool down, and you just have to do a lot of stirring. Stirring, yeah. yeah. It's hot now, so it just it does need to cool down. But while it's cooling down, you just got to keep stirring. But it kills your arms. You may as well throw it away. But Karen sat there. <laughs> Karen sat there doing that, so don't worry. 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 Karen sat so when's our sprinkle pickers like that? They're on the way. You say that wrong. When do your sprinkle pickers back in stock? They're on the way. Don't wait for everything to clear customs. Six seconds. Let's get that. Let's see. Can I open it at all? No, no, I just said it just stop. Is that open at all? Is that a spanner? For God's sake. That's what happens when the bad weather's on. <laughs> so I'm not going to have enough buttercream now. We've got buttercream in the fridge, Karen. Tonight I've got this. Yeah, we have actually. Do you think that's coming back? Well, Karen might have saved it. There's that much in there now. She's too busy doing that to um, work the... Oh, sorry, I <laughs> did it again. Work the thing. I'm working it, don't worry. Do you want a smaller bowl? Yeah. Yeah, she caught him. The one that's saying you didn't have any money, can we send him oh, something? Yeah. I got rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't got any money either. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't ask any of us what. to delete on the live though. Okay. Yeah, we'll book it afterwards. Right, okay then. Fill our bag. How's that doing, Karen? Yes, it's, it's, the oil's gone now. Do you want to mix it into that then and use the rest of that cold? I did want it softer than this, to be fair, but I'm scared of splitting it. <laughs> but make your butter as soft as you can, okay, without splitting it. Let's fill another bag. I feel guilty, Carol Broad, changing my plan. Now we're going to go for one colour, nice and easy. <laughs> okay. But don't worry, Carol McFarland winging it way. <laughs> you ask, I'll do. Let me some more bags. Look at that. Oh, you're a good girl, aren't you? Brought it back. 
and thanks Claire for that. I knew it needed cooling down. Still a bit split then. As soon as she's asking if the buttercream is a tusha, yeah. is asking if the buttercream soft when piping flowers, how can you stiffen it? Can we have that chat on a night when yeah. we're doing flowers? <laughs> I can't think me tonight, Letitia. Tusha, you're in enough of my classes, but the answer to that is add more ice and sugar. But what are you using for your butter? What are you using? Are you using butter or margarine? If you're using margarine, it'll never go stiff. I don't know whether... says it's going to be your best one yet. Is it? <laughs> Good job you lot won't be seeing it because it'll be sitting in the fridge. So... Uh... Claire says, it's only because she's easily distracted, she has to do it all the time, ring up the screen back. <laughs> right, okay, let's get rid of Yeah, that. I love Claire, but you can talk to her, and then she can suddenly just go to different subjects, forget what you were talking about. Sounds like me. Right, okay, is this ready to come out of here yet? The mus can muscles from Brussels do it? Hey. Okay. So who was here? It was you. Muscles from Brussels. Yeah. I'm not the muscles from Brussels. <laughs> 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 Is that what you're What did we make this with? Oh, Jill Cook's just saying, get your liner off your cake, Carol, before it goes soft. I know. <laughs> well, it's freaking frozen solid, this thing. <laughs> Use a hot towel around it, Janas says. Oh, no, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. You don't do that. No, that'll melt it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's coming, it's here. Kit Curry, give it a bang. Not on a glass we don't, Kit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know what we've got here. Right, yeah, this did exactly what I thought it was going to do. Right, so, this, is, this serves me right for talking. So basically, what I did was I stacked my cake, crumb-coated it, covered it, and forgot that I was having to put it in the kit. But I'll show you anyhow because I think you should see the fails. But I said to Karen, I don't know whether I've got a top or a bottom. I don't know where I am with this thing now. Sugar. Right, so we have got holes, okay? And what you do is you keep some spare buttercream. But this is where, so this, we was wondering how this was going to come out, weren't we? We don't know which is the top and which is the bottom because I think this is the bottom because this should have been the top. Oh, no, I did put buttercream there. So, so you, didn't, you, only, you was having a moment, weren't you? Yeah. But why have I got two coloured buttercreams? Let's not go there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have made a mess of this, okay. No, like but that said, was it's, me. It's fixable and I've seen, we were watching things before, it is fixable. Absolutely. It is fixable. And uh, we'll be getting a nice ombre cake out of this in a minute. So let's just put this in the fridge, okay? And we'll make an ombre cake from this. But we've got it, it's on a bit of a tilt, is it? Yeah. Slightly. So we'll like make an ombre slight. cake for that afterwards. Yeah. So, Sai, can I give you that for the fridge? What I'm going to give it you on. Let's get you a board. It's a lovely pink, that. Pardon? That's a lovely pink colour. I don't know where I've got two colour pinks. That's what's concerning me. What was I doing? And actually, it, it's only on a very tight slight. Oh, it's only very slight. It's because of that board there, yeah, yeah. and that the buttercream's gone down there. Yeah. Right, so can I give you this for a fridge, please? You, well, you could straighten that up because when you set the bit, you can take the board off the bottom of it. Thing is, you can straighten it. Oh, should I do that now? I guess I'll do it, aren't I? No, we need the board, soft. don't we? Yeah. You need yeah. to take that off when it's gone soft, and then you can put one that's on that's straight. That would help. Well, that's that's better like that, isn't it? <laughs> So Andrea, an ombre cake is when you do the buttercream layers and you're doing it in different shades all the way up and it all it meets into one so it's like an ombre of different shades going up the cake. Yeah, but you, should start with a, you should start with a dark colour and work your way to light. Yeah. And Dinaz says, if I can't fix it, I eat it. That teaches it to be aid. Yeah, but then you get like me, Dinaz. You've got a long way to go. You're only a skinny with it. <laughs> right. right, let's get rid of all this lot. So Paula Brown's asking, do you have to put it in the freezer or is it okay just in the fridge? It takes longer in the fridge. 
So that went in the fridge. Was that about four o'clock that went in yes. the fridge or five o'clock? I think it was, it was, it was closer to five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's quicker if it's in the freezer. So we've got our thing up here. I'm going to lift this up high so that you can see. We've not put the clippet on yet. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the split ganache first. Okay. So we use the split ganache first and we're just going to go round. Sorry, I'm going to have to stick my head in because otherwise I can't see. Let me put the clipper on and then let me go and get a spatula and the clip it goes this the little short side that bit goes on the inside there and the long bit goes on the outside so let me get my palette knife yes barbara you could leave it in the fridge overnight that's no oh problem. yeah it's better to leave it in the fridge yeah if you're going to leave it in the fridge make sure so the, people have had problems with the fridge. And let me just explain the difference between a fridge and a freezer. The freezer's colder, obviously, okay? And you don't open, you don't continually open the freezer. You tend to shut the freezer and leave it alone. What happens is when people put things in the fridge, they put it in the fridge, which is great, but then they're in and out of the fridge all night. You know, you're getting your milk out all night. So all the time, the cold air that you've just built up is now being let out. So, uh, so just watch what I'm doing now. I'm just going around the sides here now. So we need to go around. This is what I forgot to do earlier. So we're just going to put this around the side. Push this down. So, and then what people do is they leave it in the fridge four hours, forgetting that every Tom, Dick and Harry has been in the fridge to make a brew. Keep letting all the cold air out. And then, um, let's just put that on there a minute. Keep letting all the cold air out and then um, they've got to build it up again. So even if you only open it, uh, open the door for a second, that blast of cold air comes out straight away. So if you're gonna do it in the fridge, you need to leave it in a lot longer. Yeah, let's put my next one in. I'm hoping I'm going to have enough buttercream now. So just push it down. I don't want to sign. I can see that. So push your bag down. Keep squeezing. And this is why I don't like the bottle. Because I like to be able to get in and keep squeezing. And this butter cream is very soft, but I would have preferred it a bit softer. So I normally soften it down with hot water, but tonight I thought I'd be a clever chops and go live and do it with the microwave a method I've not used before. Because the other, what, what have we made there with that one? Is it Swiss Rambles cream we made? No, it was butter cream. What did we do with that? Oh, we softened that in the microwave, didn't we? What am I talking about? Can you still put jam in the middle of the lays if you want to? Of course you can. But what are you wanting? This is meant to be a quick live, that's all. So we will use this darker pink now. So Zoe both bankers asking, so a six inch cake for a six inch cake for buttercream? Yeah. That's right. But you've got to cut your six inch cake down to five inches. Five and a half. Sorry, five and a half. Yeah. Um, I would say for your first time, cut it down to five inches and then five and a half inches if you're using ganache. Yeah. So keep squeezing. I'm going to keep pushing this down. So is it howling where you are? Growing a proper howling here. It's isn't it? Hooley. That's what I loved it when John came in before and he says, oh, it's blowing a hooley out there. <laughs> so anything you've got up the sides, just scrape off. Lee's being cheeky. What's he doing? There's no one in called Tom de Carrari in this house to open the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, 
my port back. Right. So we'll get the next sponge on now. Put that in the centre so you can see, yeah. I'm going to use this peach colour. Oh, we'll use the rest of the pink for it. Just don't want to waste any butter cream. So just keep pushing it down. So Jackie says, I don't know if she's getting a headache, Carol. She says, don't forget to bang it down to keep banging it down. No, I know. You can keep banging it if you want to. I don't generally do. That's probably why I have holes in mine. Everyone's got it, uh, whistling, the wind's whistling all around, lights are flickering. They've sent a text message from the power grid saying electric could go off. <laughs> wow. Hey, how many of you missed us today when you went to the website and it wasn't on? After I'd warned you all, sent out an email telling you all, we still got messages on customer services. Your website's not working. <laughs> <laughs> Even though there was a massive big sign saying we're down for maintenance. So what Jackie was saying there, she's quite right, just to help yourself, yeah, just to get your buttercream down, but hold this, don't bounce up and down because that's going to bounce up and down, so hold that, yeah. and then push your sponge down. So we're on this peach colour next, next, aren't we? So. I'm hoping this is going to be set by the time we've done a nice amount sale. You never know. So you can put jam in if you want to, so you can do yourself a little wall if you want to. Because I'm doing this live, when you're doing things live, you just get on with it. But if I was if I was doing this for somebody, I'd be taking a lot more a lot more time and a lot more care. Okay. And if you believe that, you believe anything. <laughs> generally, generally for all my kids together. <laughs> right. Okay, so we've got the last sponge going on now are you enjoying the live all of you they certainly are so who's going to sign up for the make it bake it if you join the live and you miss us and you love us so much why aren't you there so jane allen's saying is the bottom going to be the top yes there you go jane who was that jane allen all right yeah it is and now then... you could put jam in between the layers but yeah. you would uh, probably have to put a bit of a dam so it all doesn't seep out so yeah. put a bit of a dam in it yeah. Okay. Right. My last bag. Here's that. I'm going to have a bit of a clean up. Put this last one on. If you notice, I didn't cut my cakes evenly. So I've got a bit of a slant on mine. If you see from the front now, you can see, yeah, and push it all in. We've got a hole there, can you see that? I'm just going to keep pushing. So this is going to be the bottom of the cake. Sheila Hudson said, of course we're enjoying it, and what better way to spend my 60th birthday? Oh, is it your 60th, Sheila? How nice. Oh, happy birthday. There's so many of us 60 this year, isn't there? And Molly's saying, is your jaw okay now? My jaw? Yeah, because you know when you said you had a sore jaw, is your jaw any better? Are you talking about what was going on with, with my mouth? Yeah. Oh, I can tell you about that. I had to go and have um, an MRI scan. Well, that's nice of you to remember, isn't it? That was Molly Thompson, that. Oh, right. Well, basically, 
I'll have to get the word out. It's something to do with your central nerve. It's not going to go away. It'll get worse, but it won't make me paralysed or anything. So um, I can go on medic medication. Is it trominal? Tramadol. No. Oh. Traminal nerve, is it? She nerve, the nerve that goes through your brain here, and then comes down the side of the face and spikes off, but it, it's, it's all nerve related. So, uh, yes, yeah, so I do have problems with it, but I don't take medication for anything apart from my asthma. And I stopped taking my asthma medication five years ago and went on to a salt um, thing. The salt thing, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So, Joanne Randall's asking, do you use more buttercream this way or is it the same as you would when you were doing it normal, so you was coating it, crumb coating and yeah, then coating same. it? Yeah, So let me get it's a the same amount. amount. Joanne. Oh, there you go, Pam. I knew you'd know it, Pam. What? It's your, your trigger minimal. There, that's it. I can't to, say it. Your trigger minimal nerve. Yes, that's it. So, um, so that's what's wrong with me, anyhow. So I can have pain, pain relief, and I do need pain relief because all my side of my face is very painful if I touch it there. And uh, it gives me a pain from the top of my head, but it's mainly when I eat on that side. And it's, uh, it's really funny, but she did say it was just a reaction. It's my mouth protecting that I, I'm talking and everything's fine. But when I come to eat, I don't open my mouth on that side properly. And she said that's because your brain's telling you you've got a problem. And it's, uh, it's like putting your hands out, isn't it, before you fall. You know you're going to fall, don't yeah. you? So you put your hands out first. Right, okay. So, give it a little push. Okay, and then that lot can go in the freezer. Now that is the right way to do it, not the wrong way that I did it before. Okay, so hopefully this will have set by the time... We are finished. So pop this in the freezer. Right. So let's have a clean up. Just give me five minutes, have a clean up. So do you lot want to go? We'll stay live. So if anybody wants to nip off to the loo or anything like that, I'll just get this lot out of the way. So every, even if you're not in the group, you can still see things, you know, we're going to come here and do occasional lives on the page. We're not going to do them all the time, but basically, eventually there'll be none on the page. We'll be doing them all in the group. Okay, but every now and again, we're just going to pop up, say hi to you, do a dem. And ideally, we would like all of you to come and join us over there. And there's a lady there, she said, she said I'm just paying for a month to see how I like it. And she's got Carol, I like it in here, Carol. Carol, I like it. I don't know if she's watching us tonight. She might say, I like it. I think I'm staying. So, but everybody else, I'm sure you've already been selling them, haven't you? They've already been saying about it, eh, hey, Karen? They certainly have. They've all been telling them about saying, if you're not in it, you should be in it. And there's a couple of ladies just waiting for payday and they're going to join. Yeah, and get the annual one because it's the cheapest one and it's better. And the other thing, all your lives are saved with each tutor. So you have a calendar there. So if you go to the guide, go to the calendar, all from the very first live, it's listed the date of the live, who did it and what they made. Then you can go to the tutor, find the live, find the ingredients, find the recipe, find what they did. So everything's there. You've got access to all your groups that you've paid for. So all your classes that you've paid for, you can go to that tutor, find all your classes. If you can't get into the class, so if you can't get into, let's say you can't remember whether you bought that class or not, if you go to the group and you can get in, then you know you paid for it. If you can't get in, then you know you didn't pay for it. But it makes it all easy. So instead of having to search all the time on Facebook where everything is, it's all there for you. 
And Laura's feeling a lot better now, thank you for asking. Yeah, she's back tomorrow, Manchester Tart. Oh, Manchester Tart. Does that take you back to school dinners, ladies okay. and gentlemen? Do you know I've never had Manchester Tart? Have you not? I've never heard of it. Until last year, was oh. it during Covid that somebody said it and I said, what are yeah. about? Pastry with jam and then custard and then baked in the oven. Don't you remember? I'd said I'd never heard of it before. Mm, I think so, yeah. Yeah, Manchester Tart. Right, what is going on? My husband loved it because he went to school, their school well, sometimes he did bananas on the bottom. Sometimes the bananas on the bottom. Yes. Right, so we're going to make an ice malt sale now, okay? So for the ice and malt sale, don't do it the way I do it. You should get yourself a pair of gloves. Alright, so we're just going to put these down. I know, I can cut them out. So, but I did a live once and did them without the gloves. And everyone's going, oh, Carol, Carol, be careful. Mm. But just in case there's kiddies watching and stuff like that. And this is not for something for the kids, okay? So we'll just put that on there. Just cover it up. The worst Don't is when you went to see if it was set in the mould. Yes, oh yes, oh yes. yes. I put some in Karen Davies' mould. Don't test the temperature of it with your fingers. fingers. Yes. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, I told everybody not to test with their fingers. But it had been sat there for such a while and some of them had come out, couldn't wait, you know when you start? And they were like flipping out. But the big one hadn't come out. So I went and stuck my finger in it. Then you need some pegs. So the isomalt that we're going to use, oh, we don't have to open that bag for some here. Can you explain what isomalt is to Barbara Moore, please, Carol? I have no idea, Barbara. I just know it's called isomalt. So um, it's a sugar, to be fair. It's a, it's a, I don't know what type of sugar it is. I'll have to read it out to you. In fact, I'll get Simon to read it out. Is it on there? It tells you. Because this is uh, made in Italy, this one. It's basically a sugar, but it's you don't want to eat it. it just use it for making decorations. It's not got don't calories use it. In it. No, no, well, it's, it's a uh, diuretic. It's a diuretic sugar. Diabetic sugar. It's um, yeah. Just don't eat it's it. It's a calorie-free sweet. Yes. It's That's it. Sweetener. It's, it's a sugar substitute. That's it. A type of sugar alcohol used primarily for sugar-like physical appearances. Yeah. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Yeah, just make the decoration with it. Oh, we've seen this at Claire made. She's done a little uh, video for you all. That's what she's made today. She's going to kill me. I've just got to stuck my finger in it. <laughs> <laughs> At least you did that. I'm not. Just stuck my finger in it. Have <laughs> <Sorry, Claire. laughs> you seen that? Claire? You can tell now how fresh it is. She only did it this afternoon. Claire. <laughs> let's see. Right, let's just give it a little bit of a denty look. I'll stick a ball in front of it after. But she's made a video for that. And these are on the website, these palms. They're just paper. We've got them in large and small, and they come in packs of two. So she's used the um, choco balls there. So she's used some uh, lint chocolates. Lint chocolates, hasn't she? The choco balls. Yes. Yeah, just lint chocolates and the choco balls, isn't it? Claire's going, Sorry. oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least I didn't go knocking the shoes on the floor. Hey, <laughs> That's three of you. You right. broke a shoe, Simon mended yours. Karen broke a whole load of shoes. Right, and apparently that. Simon's shoe just exploded in front of him, which Kim Firth <laughs> does not believe for one second. Right, so there's several ways you can do this. You can do the microwave method, which we're going to show you. So we'll do the microwave method. We'll do the microwave method first. Well, I'm, I'm level because I men, mended one shoe and only broke one, so I'm, I'm on zero. Same as you, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> and you do need a but what happened to the shoe that got mended? You do need a tall container, preferably a glass one, not a plastic one. Okay, so we're going to use this one. All right, but I haven't got any taller, taller one. So we're going to use this, all right? So we're going to use that. But we'll use this one because it's a bit softer. If you've got cake lace mats, you can use your cake lace mats. They're good. So what we'll do is we're going to put these in the microwave. So let's put some ice malt in. Claire's not letting you off sandwich, it doesn't work like that. Well, when I've mended <laughs> the other one, then they'll definitely be okay. So, I'm not weighing it, I'm just throwing it in, I'm just eyeballing ball. it. Okay. Now, last time I put gels in, this time I'm going to put wonder dust in. So, yes, Natasha, you could use a wide glass vase. Yes. 
Yeah, it's got to be tall. So we've been running around the kitchen and at 10 <laughs> seconds to live, the only thing we could get our hands on was Claire Corbett's Endo Coca-Cola or whatever it is, Pepsi Max. <laughs> so that's all we could get. So we said that'll have to do. We're going to be live in 10 seconds. So all these are going to go in the microwave at the same time. Okay. And I'll do one on the hob afterwards. Do you want to, that's a good idea that, do you want me to uh, just finish Claire's coat then it's going to go flat and we can fill in the water so it will be heavier? Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. That's a good idea. Ice it's cold water. Ladies, good girls, you're good you lot aren't you? Help them out. <sighs> so I've just put that on for 20 seconds, just giving them a shake, so it's a bit like your chocolate, okay? microwave 10-20 seconds and then keep stopping and stirring. So I'll have to do it down here because we couldn't fit the microwave up here. What's going on the hob cover? I'm going to do it in the hob room as well. Oh, right, Could okay. do it twice. Yeah. I've got a cake in the fridge to set, haven't I? Yeah. Just do a bit of stirring. So it takes about two and a half minutes, okay, to get them all going. And then you have to act really fast. But this is because I've not decided to do one colour sale, I've decided to do a multicolour sale, okay. So it takes about two and a half minutes to melt it. Well done, Karen. That was good. Which lady came up with that bright idea? Ooh. Then make sure you've got some gloves, okay? Put some plastic ones on first and then put these on after. Debbie Cottrell. Debbie Cottrell, good girl. Hey, congratulations, Debbie. I saw four stone weight loss, eh? Amazing. Look beautiful. I'm going to get you coming up here, show me how to do it. Right, let me get your stir again. So you can see I've only done a minute so far. Okay, so you just keep stirring every 30 seconds, just like your chocolate. And plus it might take a bit longer because I've got four in it. So I'm just stirring these while they're in the microwave. So depending on how big your sail is, is on how big you'd use your vessel to uh, yeah. take your... We're going for a bigger. Yeah. We're going for a big sale, this. So, sorry, I'm, I'm off camera there. Oh, well done, Natasha Eloise Wheatley. She's yeah. at seven and a half stone. She's still got yeah. two to go. Oh, well done. Wow. Amazing. When will the set of mini nozzles be back in, please, Ashley? They're, they're Martin. on order, but I would think four weeks, four to five weeks. So, just give them a stir again. Do you know what? I might just. Um, Move while well, this next 30 seconds on that, just move all this lot out of the way. Okay. And then drag the microwave okay. down. Let's drag the microwave down. I can put that that you don't need that now. Get rid of that. these little glass jars just keep give, giving them a stir they will take a bit longer I've got four in here they, they work quick if you put one in at a time but I need all four going <laughs> Kevin, oh, you've got your own big bottle there where <laughs> yeah, I'm going to drink that yeah, yeah Claire, going mean, in a bit. Claire your coat would have been flat by next Tuesday yeah. mate so I'm just finishing it off for you that's what kind of a good friend I am Yep, so just keep make don't not stir them, make sure you do stir them. They will all go, don't worry about it. So just keep stirring them. 
Don't let the kiddies touch these. Don't let the kids help you. Me and Terry had a great time doing these one time. And we did them over a balloon. Oh, we loved it. So me and, Cl me and uh, Terry, she's filming. She's up there. And then we did it over balloons. Fantastic. Worked every time. Then we did it on another balloon and the whole thing exploded. Exploded. I jumped on my skin. <laughs> We all jumped out of the way. It just shows you can jump out of the way fast enough. Don't know why. Never got any of us. John went mad. He wasn't very happy. So, Kathy Campbell's asking, when will the pink cherry blossom cutters be back in stock? They're on the way. They are on the way. They, I think they are in the country. When I was last checking the trekking. Everything's all about shipping and getting to you now. Everything's all on its way. You've just, you just got to wait for it to get through the shipping. Get charged to fortune for shipping. Then it goes and sits in customs. I've been waiting for a parcel this week for the Unicorn Cake Schools mould. And um, it said it was in the UK. Cleared customs. I'm there waiting, waiting, waiting. Cleared customs. So it's got to be here. And then it was, uh, not yesterday, the day before... I chased it. Oh, it's that in customs. They just haven't bothered to tell me I've got to pay customs because you always have to pay customs on everything. But they haven't, normally you get an email to tell you. No, nope, nothing. So then I went on to Royal Mail and they said, oh yeah, I've got to pay customs. But the Royal Mail used to drop a card off through your, through your box. You don't do that anymore. I'm going to melt these one at a time and get on board well, of this game. Hats off to all you ladies who've lost loads of weight. Well done. I just wish I had some of your motivation and willpower. I'm getting there. We're getting there. Let's chew some wonder dust. Oh, I'll fail. Well, we're going to go with the purple haze, um, the mulberry crush. Um, we're going to have a bit of sparkling gold and we will have a bit of copper. Bronze. Nice. Right, let's see if this is working. Oh, now it's working, isn't it? Right, we're getting there now. No, Claire, no. What? What do you think she's shouting the colour? Hey. What colour do you oh, think Oh, the she blue. <laughs> she's shouting for the blue. Now, if you drop a bit, do not be daft enough to go and pick it up. All right. Are we getting any more patchwork pram cutters in? I've got them in, but I've just not updated the website. So, so Barbara, like, give Carol uh, till tomorrow, because uh, she might need you to go to bed tonight, she can have a rest. I'm going to go to bed straight after this live, but tomorrow I will be up and I'll be in the office and I will update the stock. I completely forgot to update the stock. It is actually sat in the warehouse. So by tomorrow lunchtime, you can look on, even tomorrow morning, about 11 o'clock it'll be there, so just look tomorrow. Right, so we can see now this is bubbling, can you see? This is where it's the most dangerous, as it can't. Yeah, don't really touch hard. this. Okay. And as Carol said, please don't let your children do this. No. And this all dissolves in water, so even though it's sticky, when you come to wash it later, okay, don't put it in your plastic bowl in the sink. Put it in the in the uh, steel part of the sink, and then get a kettle of boiling water and pour boiling water in it, and it all dissolves just like sugar does. All right. Are you getting any more cake lace icing? Uh, cake lace icing? Cake lace icing. That's made James in his cake lace icing, please. When's it back in? Oh, we don't do cake lace icing. Do you mean the um, do you mean the actual cake lace mix? Well, I think we've got plenty of white in, haven't we? 500 gram ones. So. Kit, we think the polystyrene blocks are in. Carol will be updating the, the stock. The blocks are definitely tomorrow. in. So they are in, so Carol will update the stock tomorrow and then you'll be able to purchase the polystyrene squares. Yeah. We've got loads and Marion, is, is, Marion can get them shipped out the next day. She missed the courier on Friday. She missed the courier on Friday. Got them dispatched on, on Monday. Then I ordered some more. So they did arrive Tuesday. It's Wednesday. They arrived yesterday, yeah. But Karen and I were making gold boxes yesterday. Who's bought a gold box? So, so and uh, Carol's making an isomalt sale tonight. Well, I hope I am. I don't know what I'm making at the moment. Yeah, maybe it's in the ready mix, the, the ready mix one. Oh, the ready mix my, one. They're dying to try my fishnet. 
Oh, right. Oh, sorry. No, I've only got the, uh, I didn't get the ready mix ones in um, because the supplier hasn't actually got any ready mix in. That's why. So this is softened, but we need to soften it again. So uh, that's why I wanted to do all four in the, Andrea, um, in the microwave together. Andrea, I know together. it's easier. Carol's showing you both ways how to do it. Yeah. Don't panic. We'll be there. It's because it's I've stupidly decided to show you four colours in one go. So you've just got to take a bit of time. It's like when you're tempering your chocolate. You've just got to take a bit of time. You've got to keep taking it out, stirring it. Be careful when you're touching the glass jar because it gets very hot. Okay, so you should have your gloves on now. Cousin, my cousin's just wrote to me, just been watching you tonight, you never seem to stop, how's it all going? <laughs> <laughs> well if you're watching me Christine, you know I'm doing a Facebook Live. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, this normally reacts a lot quicker than the way we're doing it tonight. And we've got the big rolling pins back in again, the big yeah. rolling pins, so they're, they're back in, Karen, they're, they're on they've the... Been in, they've been in for over a week I think. Yeah, they're in, they're in on the... Uh... On the website. Yeah, I think Yin forgot to put them in stock for a couple of days. Because Yin's in charge of the extra large boards and they come with the extra large boards. So we're not put the extra large boards in because people are reserved them. We can't get any more extra large boards. I spoke to the gentleman who makes them for me and he doesn't want to buy any at the moment. He said the price point is ridiculous. He has emailed the company to get a price point and he's emailed them twice and said, I'm not emailing them three times because then they'll think I'm desperate for them and they'll just hike the prices. So he's, he's point blank refusing. So he said, let's just leave it a couple of months, Carol, and have a think about it. So he's going on holiday on Friday. So I went, right, well, you go and enjoy your holiday. So let's get these in. So I'm hoping that now these are starting to soften. So you see how it's this white colour, it's got to go clear. So these are nowhere near ready yet. I'm doing has got these softened. So they've got to go clear and very, very loose, all right? And it is taking a long time, or is it me? Is it just, do I feel as though I've been doing it a long well, time? Well, the ladies is, you don't mind being better milk and it all in one jug and then be like, I know, I know. Clearly not thinking, am I? Well, they're all telling you off. Yeah? Saying that you should be getting more rest than going to bed. Right. Yeah, I should have melted it all in one go. Wasn't thinking. Anyway, why am I doing it if you all know a lot what we're doing? Because they love watching you. Right, let's get the spoons. What do you want to tell me? Well, I think it's the 24 inch rolling pin that the, the, the camera's looking for. Yes, it is. It's I'm just stock. looking for it now. If it's not in stock, it is in the building. They're no, showing out of stock. Well, that's you, and she's not updated them. There's nowhere they're out of stock. She's hanging, what it is, she's got that many extra large boards on reserve. I think she's just hanging on in case people have reserved rolling pins as well. But I'll speak to Yin tomorrow. I really wish I'd done this in one row now. And do you know what? I think I might just go, I think I might just go and stick it all in the saucepan. Yeah. Let me just stick all this in the saucepan instead. Right, do we remember how to turn the oven on with this one? Yeah. Right. Oh, there's grey boards still in the wrapper. Get it out of the wrapper and give it a good stroke. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to put these. Sam's got a camera over on here. I'm going to put this in here. And I'll do this another way. 
I don't know why I wasn't doing it. I'd already set it up to do it this way. I've even got the cocktail sticks out to do it as well. Right. Let's put this in here as well. Let's put it all in there. Let's get rid of that one. Alright. I'll deal with those two things later. work with the microwave method but it's taking its time. Karen have I got this on? Have you pressed function? The press function yeah. And have you got any what's the numbers on the side? 18. That's right that's, that's yeah. Right. Let me go and get a um, cut knife. Oh yeah that's working. Right great. So are you all waiting for your gold boxes? just a bit of fun and what it is it's clear in the warehouse so it's stuff that was on sale it was stuff that's discontinued it's seasonal stuff um, and it's a bit of fun and uh, you just get it cheaper you're sort of getting it at half price really so some things you might already have there's some really good things in there there's some things that you might not think so good we think they're great yeah i think the boxes are the best yeah, yeah. michelle was looking at them today and jimmy was looking at them and they were quite pleased with them So yeah. have you put another order in, because so Paul Brown's asking, are all the size of the ganache kits in stock? Yes, I filled up the ganache kits yeah. tonight. But they won't all dispatch, they're on the way, but we're just waiting for the email to come through for customs. So we expect them, we've got a lot of stock in, we've sold a lot this week of them, but we're going to get another spatula, a bigger spatula. And um, I've just topped up the stock, so anything that we run out of will be in on Friday. All your orders will be dispatched on Friday. The gold boxes, we were dispatching them today. I think 60 were out the door by 9 o'clock. Wow. Right, so you can see now this is working better on the heater, isn't it? Now you should have gloves on now. Okay, don't leave this in here. So you need to get this melting. Okay, get all the lumps down. Yeah. So it's lovely and clear. This is what would happen in the microwave, but it felt like forever in the microwave waiting there, didn't it? Yeah, so make sure all your lumps are down. Right, let's turn that off. Don't leave this spatula in, you're only using this for stirring. Okay. ready. Oh. My cousin's messaging me again now. Christine's that you're watching this live. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll stick that on there. Let me get these up. These are going. Natasha, you'll really love it in the hub if you get it when you get paid. Everyone loves the hub and there's so much fun in there. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. So I haven't done it this way before, I thought I'd play. Right. Okay, so can you see how clear it is now? Can you see? Look. So just let it calm down. Can you see the clear clearness there? Look, all the bubbles are going. Scrape it all round. Yeah. And watch what I do and listen. Okay? Wear gloves. No, I'm not wearing them, but you lot do. So you're going to pour it on here. Okay, so you're going to pour it on. And then you tip it up. Take it all out your pan. 
right now while we're doing this it's setting as well but don't worry about it okay let's get that on the cool one so let's get this over here a minute so what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle a bit of the let's put a sprinkle a bit of this over here and mix that in So can you see what's happening now this is very hot girls I can feel the heat here yeah so mix it in got to work fast now get the edges you do not let the children do this I'm doing a Karen Griffiths now I'm throwing a whole load of wonder dust in there that was far too much let's bring in a bit swirl it into the purple you can clear that up later, Carol. Eh? I'm sure you can clear that up later. <laughs> Won't just get thrown away. No. No. <laughs> so I put far too much on. Look, I'm going to have to keep stirring now. You can now. colour in the pan, Andrew. If you yes, if you do, do one, one colour. colour, yeah. You can do two or three colours in the pan, but just get practice in first. So I put far too much wonder dust on there, for God's sake, Carol. <laughs> okay. I don't feel so bad anymore. <laughs> no, okay, no, God help me. All right. Oops. Work fast. The butterfly spoons are on the way as well. They're in, stock. The oh, the, they're in stock. They're in stock now, Sheila. They've arrived. And Margot's saying that's looking very pretty. Yeah. And Leslie Co Leslie Green says, I'm not sure I would let me do this. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't be doing it really. It's yeah, great. we're not saying you should try this at home, are we? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is looking good, isn't it? And you see, I've already glued my nail. All right, Geraldine. Carol's done a Karen. Yeah, I have done a Karen. <laughs> Look at that, I've even glued my nail. Look how I'm going to have to sit that in hot water afterwards. Well, you can wash up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, wash yeah. up. Why you've got your hands in hot water, you might. Yeah. <laughs> so I've just got to hope that this hasn't set too much now. So again, this is a first, do you know what I mean? I'm messing about here. So this may have set too much, this. Alright, let's get our bottle. Oof, gosh. Let's get our bottle. I'm going to put this down on here now. So I'm going to go over it. And get some pegs. So I'm gonna to have to brush off the wonder dust after this after. But thankfully the wonder dust will give it still a nice shine. So I put far too much wonder dust in here. You're just making little flints there, aren't you? Yeah. Gives it a bit of a shape. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I know it looks great on camera, but it looks even better in real life. Yeah, now watch when you're putting your hands around things as well. Oops, a daisy. Right, that's slipping up there. So watch, because if it's too soft, it slips off and drops on your hands. So do be careful. Right, I'm just going to leave that to set there. Yeah, and I'm just going to go and soak off my uh, me glued up nail. <laughs> so, so we've got far too much luster on there. I did a Karen. Now this has gone on, this should really be melting and running down. So I might have to do this again in a minute, but I'll do it in two colours instead of, so if I have to do it again in a minute. So we've got to wait for a cake to set. Anyhow, who's That's staying with us? It's 20 to nine. Who's staying with us until we're sorted? Oh, we're, we're all there, aren't we ladies? We're here till the end. We love our, we it's not even Wednesday, is it? No. Is it yeah, it is Wednesday. It is Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> well, we love our sure Wednesday it's, nights, don't we? Well, sure it's just picked up my nail. Yeah. Right, so because it's dry now, it's just picking up my nail. Look at that. Look. Hasn't even ruined my nail. That's good. That's good. Yeah, good, because I don't just pay for them. The love arts are flying up here for this. Right, let me wash my hands. And they're all staying with us, Carol. Good. Just got to wait for this cake to set. Absolutely.
been melted in your That's dirty, isn't that? Right. Shelby, did all the usual motley crew are staying there? I think I'm going to have to do another one of these. Okay, so I'm going to move that out of the way where it says, and then we'll get another one going because, to be fair, well, you've wonder dusted it. <laughs> <laughs> I've wonder dusted it. <laughs> it just brush up. I think it will brush off. It's too hot at the moment. So I think what we'll do is we'll get that one out of the way. Okay, now, when you move it, you shouldn't now touch it at all now, but it's not running anywhere. So if you are making this at home, like I say, please do not let the children anywhere near. Don't have them running around. You know, if we had our Harrison in here now, we'd be kicked right out okay so don't have the kids around and what you don't want to do now is go put your hands under here now and grab this with bare hands because if anything drips down but this is too thick it isn't dripping anywhere no it's not it's starting okay. to set that isn't it yeah so what i'm going to do is let me get the seat on just on the safe side so So a couple of people bought packets of ice milk last year. They're probably too scared to use it. <laughs> yeah. No, don't be scared. It's good fun, okay? Just do as you're told. But maybe learn from me when I make mistakes. Then you can go off and improve them. So we're going to do this again. Yes, Deirdre, you do wear gloves. We do advise you to wear gloves. Yeah, you should wear gloves. I have got the gloves out, but I can't... Have, they get on my nerves. But I haven't room in here, look. Look at that. Nothing underneath it. He's fine. Right. Okay. So let's do it in. Let's do it in the microwave again. Let's do it in the hob again. Where's my item on? So Shirley Shine's asking, could you melt in the saucepan and then pour into jugs to mix in the colour? You've got to be really quick. That's what I should have done. Because it does set yeah. really quick, doesn't it? Yeah. So you've got to be really quick. So I did that last year and melted them all into jugs. So we'll do that now. Actually, we'll do a couple anyhow. Okay. Don't know how long that's going to take to set the tip. What do they take usually? Is it about 20 minutes or so? Can you open the door? Just, just have a feel. Yeah, I've got it. Cool just have a feel. I've got it. I don't want sure. to really touch it. I mean, just like. No, it comes away. You can kind of feel. Yeah, it's still up there. It's not that hot. No. But you've got thick bits, so watch out. Yeah. Yeah. I've actually used my bottle on. You're on my bottle now, Claire. Right, okay, so let's do this again then. Scissors. Did I clear up the scissors again? Yeah. Scissors. So you normally put 250 grams in, I don't, I just eyeball it. Okay. So Andy Brown is asking, would you be able to wonder dust it when it's solid? No. You can paint on it with wonder dust. Paint the edges. Okay. So let's turn it on. So it's on. Function. Max. Right, let's go again. Right, let's go again. Francis is laughing, she said, you remind her of a mum, Carol. Do as I say, not as I do. Exactly. <laughs> Glad you all remembered that bit. Okay. Right, I'm going to do it another way in the pan. Okay. Right, I'm going to run up there, take a drink of my drink. Oh, Leslie, Leslie Green wants sugar and crumbs lives all next week, afternoons and evenings, because husband and sons are going skiing to Scotland without her. What we do next week? <laughs> We're busy next week. We're, we're cleaning the mezzanine, you and I, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. So Monday, we're, are we in here Monday? Or are we, no, we're down in Breadroom Monday, aren't we? You was, it, are it, you it, on a late Monday? Are you on an early? Who's in Monday night? I'll just, I'll just check my calendar. Who's in on Monday night next week? Yeah. Um, possibly you. Looks like it's me Monday. Right, it's so we're you, on a late Monday. It's you because uh, I've got nothing wrong. What are we going to do on Monday then? In the Make It Bake It Hub? What are we going to make? Nothing. Because... Yeah, well, Tuesday, anyhow, we're cleaning the mezzanine, aren't we? Mm -hmm. We're washing down all the demonstration tables and all the chairs. Yeah. Having a good clear out yeah. up there. Oh, wait a minute. Thanks, John. Julie Rogerson. Oh, great. <laughs> I knew there was somebody. <laughs> Thanks, Jill. I'll just write that in my diary now. Yeah. Oh, I knew there was somebody. Thank God for that. 
I think I'll give Julie a big kiss when I say it. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we can, we can do a 9-5 in the way, I'll say. Yeah. Oh, great. Right. Get it melted again. John McFarlane will be telling me off afterwards for doing this. You're going to have no gloves on. None of that. <laughs> well, <laughs> Carol's not here now. It's Julie Rogerson, so forget <laughs> about uh, chocolate eclairs and brownie scotch checks. <laughs> They said you can make chocolate eclairs or brownie scotch eggs. <laughs> Somebody sent me a picture of them brownie scotch eggs the other day to me. Who was that? Was that Debs? Or was that um, Michaela? It might have been Michaela because yeah, it's brownie scotch eggs. Because I mean, my daughter made those a couple of years ago, the brownie scotch eggs. Geraldine said, John McFarland doing a live on Monday using the cocoa powders. <laughs> yeah, with you. <laughs> I saw, your, I saw your new profile picture, Geraldine. It's lovely. Is that is that for you when we put you on the banner? <laughs> With Millie. Can you bring Millie? Yeah. So they can't get out of it. Millie is invited. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just melting this here. Right. Now, I left this in the pan before. I don't know whether you any of the picked up. You shouldn't really leave it in the pan either. But everything all washes off. You don't ruin anything. Seriously. You've just seen it all stuck to the nails. So it's all melted, stirred. All right, let's turn it off. Turn it off. Let's get that on. Let's get that on there. Now I need a mat. A mat, another mat. I have to use this one. I'll use that one for over the bottle. Right, so let me get my spoon now. So I'm gonna just, just keep stirring. So it's all gone clear. So can you see it clear on here now? Oh, look at that. Let me put it in. So our ice for a 500 gram bag Sheila, it's £8.49. Right, okay, so look at this. So wait till it cools down a minute. Wait till those bubbles go. I'm just going to put a little bit in here. What's that, Carol? Hey. What is it? It's the Purple A's Wonder Dust. I'm going to put a bit of the fuchsia in. I'm going to put a bit of the gold in, the bronze. You all know I am mucking about here, don't you? You're not taking me seriously, are you? Okay. Right. And I'll just get my spoon. Just gonna give it a little marble stir. Right, can you see that? Can you see it? Do you see all the different colours in there? Karen, are you with us? Yeah, yeah I'm yeah, I'm about 30 <laughs> seconds behind you. Oh, yeah, I forget you're 30 <laughs> seconds behind. Sorry, I can love. see that, thanks, Carol. I can yes, see I that. Yes, I forgot. Yeah, you're behind the microwave. You get, it's not because you can see as yeah, well. Yeah, Right, okay. So what do you think of that? That is lovely. That's really nice. Right, I now know what I'm doing. Right, okay. So this isn't ready yet to go over because it's still too hot. Right. So Claire, isomol is edible. It's it is like fact it's safe, but you wouldn't want to you eat it. Want no. it. I'll, I'll give you the runs on here. Yeah. If you ate a lot of it. Yeah. yeah, if you ate a lot of it. Yeah, if you ate all this. Yeah, but it is in a lot of they use do use it in a lot of food anyway. Yeah, they do. But. It doesn't taste nice. It's a much easier I way said to before, mix your colours there. Hey. Much easier way to mix your colours doing it that way. Yeah.
So that mat that Ka uh, Carol's using there was just our... Uh, it's just a silica silicone, silicone, silicone mat. mat. We used to sell them, but we don't sell them anymore. They've gone through the roof. So we'd be best off going in home bargains or something like that. I've see, see where you can buy them. Silicone prices are crazy at the moment. Right, so is that set? I think you can take that off and put it on the on there. Oh, yeah, I think I can. And all that dust right. is off. Mm. So look at that. That's set. So we'll come back to that in a minute. So I shouldn't I don't want to take it I shouldn't have really took it off there yet, but we've only got one bottle of cold water. We're poor. <laughs> yeah. Right, then you're gonna peg it. So this mat isn't this is floor. Let me peg. Don't touch this, remember. Okay, watch it as well. Don't touch it. So watch it because it's coming to the end. I don't think I've got this one on fast enough either. If you have some like a little bit of a dodgy bit, like that, you can break it off. A thin bit. I'll pull it off now. Have the spammers stopped invading us? Yeah, I think they've got better than we keep looking up. <laughs> Got a phone if it comes around to find a few more mates. Right, okay. So I'm going to put that on there. So I'm just going to break this bit off while I can. So we're going to get some scissors. That's too thin. And you can reuse all this, you can remelt it all as well once you've used it. Next time I come and do a live. Make sure I've not been at work all day. Helen Miles is telling you off. Hey. Helen Miles is telling you. You say don't touch it and pull a dodgy bit off. <laughs> <laughs> they don't miss a trick, do they, Caroline? They don't miss a trick. Yeah, don't be putting your hand on it like that either. <laughs> Listen, I might have to make another one in a minute if this bloody cake isn't set. We're going to have a whole shelf of ice and <laughs> sales. I'm going to fill them with everything. <laughs> To be fair, I've made them far nicer than this. Right, okay, so let's get this out of the way. So when you come to move it, make sure you've got your rubber because something can't protect your arms. Let's move this over here so this can set. Here's one we made earlier and mucked up. Let's get a dusting brush. Let's oh. dust off all the excess dust. James is asking, do we spray it afterwards? No. You can paint it with the wonder dust after. Yeah, the blue one was lovely, was wasn't it? Gorgeous. Carol, do tell them I do know what I'm doing at times. <laughs> it's just that I'm very tired tonight and I have no freaking idea what I'm doing. So this is a total muck up this. I've let, I've, I've, ugh. but do you know what? It'll look fine. It's still fun. It'll look fine. So you can see, still warm this, but it's warm enough that it's okay to touch. Okay. And what you do is, you can hold this now, girls. You serve it like that. Yeah. <laughs> so you know it's ready because it'll just come away. If it's not coming away, it's not ready. Okay. But it is ready. It, it is ready because I can hold it now. And there we go. That 
is lovely. And I don't care what you say, that is lovely. Yeah, do you want to have a look at the overhead? That's like a gorgeous bit of coral, that. So we've got a little bit there that I'll just break off. Be careful when you're breaking them off because you can actually break all of it just by breaking a little bit off. Now look, that's where I mucked it about. You know when I put too much in, it was drying. So you put that towards the back of your cake. But look at that. Well, I love that. So coming up there, that is, that's like a gorgeous piece of coral, that carol. It's yeah, lovely. But look at that. Beautiful. Not bad that for mucking it up, is it? Really nice. So then what you do is you sit that on your cake like that. And you find a side that you like. Have we got a dummy cake here? So we can sit it on. Use Claire, she don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, past us that grey stand there, Karen. The, that, uh, no, the grey cake stand. So you can see it past then. So then when you've got this then, so this is still warm, it's warm to the touch. So you can put this on there, you can sit it that way. You can sit it that way. It's a different look each time, let me get out of the way. So you Wait, can you see it. Cake at the back? What cake? Because it's still slightly warm. Oh, I'm a thing of it. I'm a thing of it. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? I could put it on there, actually. Let's just see. Claire said it looks like Murano glass. We'll do the, we'll do the patching up us tomorrow on this, Carol. Yeah, yeah. I'm not doing it tonight, now. Okay. So, you could sit it on there like that. Look at that, how good is that? Yeah. And then you can fill it with um, Ferrero Rochers, you can just leave it as you want. You can turn it that way if you wanted to. So you get a different effect, it's up to you, you just choose which way you want to do it. Looks nice anyway, doesn't it? You know, and then I've got that dodgy bit there, so I'll hide that one. Now this will shatter if you drop it. It will get sticky, all right? So. You, you can make this and probably leave it out for two or three days. I think you're pushing it on day three, all right? So if you're gonna make it, don't make them weeks ahead, of, ahead. You make it the day before or on the day. And then make sure you take it in a, an airtight container to wherever you're taking it to. Make sure it's well padded and then put it on your cake at the very last minute. The same like great colour match with your cake. Eh? A great colour match with your yeah, cake. Yeah, it is alright that, isn't it? It looks <laughs> fantastic that. So, love it. The love arts have shot up the page for you. Yeah. So it's not bad considering it was a dodgy one, is it? I told you it'd be alright on the night. Eh? So there you go. So you can tip it up that way. You can you can have it any way you want. You just find it the perfect position that you yeah. want it. Yeah. And then So um, anything you don't like, which a bit I don't Simon shows a bit there, that wrinkly bit. You know, you can put that on the bottom then, if you wanted to, and hide it. You know, you, you can do it any way you want. And then Claire says you can glaze it if you wanted to, and then that yeah. would just secure, you know, like keep it shiny, but that is beautiful. No, the shine won't go. The shine won't go, okay. What will happen is it will become sticky. But if you wanted to, you could paint more Wonderless if you wanted to paint on it, but I wouldn't paint anything no, on that. No, now. that is gorgeous. Yeah. Okay, so that's that one. Are we happy with that, girls? Beautiful. They, they, yeah. they love it. Absolutely love it. All right, great. Linda's had hers for over a year and it's still perfect. She's going to give it a go? What, Linda uh, Miles, um, she's had her ice and milk oh, uh, sale for over a year. Right, where have you kept it? Have you kept it somewhere cool then? If you keep it in an airtight container, it will last for quite some time. And then the good thing is, you can remelt that. Okay, so break it up, but break it up gentle because otherwise some bits break up thin like glass. But just break it up gentle and then put it in the container. We've got some stuff up in the container there. And then what we do is we melt it then. And you know your little silicone um, baking mats that you get with the, um, for, the, for your chocolate bottoms? We just fill them. So we just melt it up, even though it's got colour in. And then we make it all dark, one colour. So that will maybe go all a bronze colour. Or we, if it was um, other colours, we usually make it navy blue or something, yeah. don't we? And then we'll add a navy blue one and make a fresh clear one and mix the two together. So that's, that's easy. But just put them into your little silicone um, chocolate bomb things, set them in there and leave them to set, and then store them in the cupboard between what layers of grease bruce. If you didn't have a silicone mat, could you use a parchment paper or wax paper? No, no, it's got to be a silicone mat. I wouldn't use it because the parchment paper and the wax paper is very thin and it would I think it would collapse straight away, it wouldn't hold. No, Linda said it's on a mantelpiece, she sprayed it with glaze. Oh, did she? Yeah. Oh, right, so did it stay with glaze? Yeah. Oh, well, you know what, Claire, I might have to apologise for that one then. My understanding was 
stroking it. I know, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> You're not supposed to. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. It's like, right. it's like, and it's like, it's not set. <laughs> <laughs> that was the fastest I saw you run down the kitchen to get your hand in that water. Oh, I know, I did run fast. There's two occasions that I've run fast. Once when I stuck my finger in the ice a I didn't know I could run that fast. And the one when I fell over, when I fell out of the car. <laughs> that, when that your friends drive. Yeah, my friends drive. All right, Karen. Because <laughs> I did, I just saw it when you posted it. I went to my husband, look at this. He went, where's she going? Where's she? <laughs> <laughs> the treadmill was a good one. It didn't come up as well, that, that one on the treadmill. <laughs> in, my night, in my nighty with my trainers on and a yeah. dressing gown. Glasses on. My mobile phone went flying. I looked at my mobile phone. How did that get down there? <laughs> <laughs> So yes, so we, we can, you can use it in the silicone mould. It's fine. It's set. Oh, yeah. to set. Oh yeah. Would you want me to make some in the silicone mould for you? She knew it. That car one was so funny. Eh? The car one was so funny. Because <laughs> yeah, you just sort of like, doing. I know. My friend was scared though because she hasn't done her drive. And um, it was very clear that when I part, her paving stones are all cracked and broken. She's doing all the house up at the moment. But at the end of the day... It's the way it is. So when I, when I went into her office, I said, have you got CCTV? Because she said, where did you go? Where, where did I go? <laughs> Limping in like that. <laughs> so you got CCTV there? No, full well she has. So I said, send it me. So she said, depends if you're going to sue me or not. <laughs> I said, no, just send it me. And she sent it me. I couldn't stop laughing. Then I thought, I'll share it with you. But basically, I'd got out, got out of the car and there was a paving, the paving stone was like that. So I've come to move my foot and I've got flip-flops on and caught my flip-flop in it all. Have we got a palm spear mould here? Yeah. Do you want me to do it in That's that? That's what they're asking for. Um, Simon, you're going to have to bend down. I can't bend down. Where is it? It's in the cupboard there. Get the Cameron Davis moulds in there. We've had to move round. They always used to be in this cupboard. So... <laughs> So, grab those two pink cups there. So if it's on the top one. Oh, no, that's a funny one. There's two, we've got two currently. You're all terrible, you know. You also do all the laughing so no. much. No. I'm going to have to do the fruits one instead, okay? So I'll do that. Let me just see if this is ready to come off. Stroke it. All right. So remember, no children involved. Watch what you're doing. Wear gloves, long sleeves. Don't do as I do, do as I say. Okay, lift it off. This water's lovely and warm now. Okay, and then you can tell if it's ready, it starts to come away. Now, if it doesn't come away, don't pull it. Okay, you can hear it coming away. If there's any bits that it's not coming, it will come. Get bits together. But if you've got to pull it, there you go. Oh, look at that. One. that. That's pretty, isn't it? That's gorgeous. It's a different shape altogether. But remember, this one didn't bend as much as this one, did it? So there you are. You've got that one. Have we got another cake? What cake have we got there? We've got that. Take that top off that cake there, Karen. Oh no, I don't want that. 
a bit. Right, what have we got there? We've got the wooden... Oh, press us that green stand. That green stand will do. There we go. There we go. That's nice, isn't it? That's absolutely beautiful. I love that in this face. That is massive. No, I've got some... That's really thin, that. Yeah, I got some um, really thin bits there. Now, do be careful if you're going to start snapping bits off. No, I believe those. I think they look really good, the thin yeah. bits. So then you can turn that any way you want. That is lovely. You can have it that way. Love that. It's again coming up for you there. That, that is way. really nice, that. That's like, an oil. That's like a big um, clamshell, that it one. Is. Is it that way. And then if you fill it with all your Ferrero Rochers and bits of sweets and stuff like that. But you know that somebody will just come along and knock it off. They said a couple of ladies said if you do it with PME glaze spray, it seals the it seals the stops the air getting to it and it's oh. uh, But remember, if you're using a glaze spray, do it outside. Do it outside, yeah, and do not spray over your boards. We've used um, sprays here, the glaze sprays in here over the kitchen, and all our shine's gone off the kitchen, and you can feel it. So if you're going to spray it, take it outside with gloves on because you don't want it over your watch or anything like that or over your wedding rings. You'll never get it off. There is a glaze cleaner that will help to get some of it off, but not much. Okay. All right. Then. So we will we, we'll melt these down. Karen will have all these melted tomorrow. Absolutely. <laughs> so they'll all be melted. So do you want me to just make this one for the fruit, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're still right. late for the cake to freeze, so you know, yeah. carry on, Carol. You're doing okay. really good. It's only ten past nine. Have we got any else? Some more? Yeah. Okay. Great. Right. All right then. Let's get the oven back on again. Microwave back on. Microwave back on. Hold back on. Okay. Yeah. Claire, I did want to say that Claire, I wasn't in case you shouted at me. Take your glasses off as well because because Claire and you pair of glasses. Yeah, yeah. You just take everything off. Wear your old clothes. Everything. Take it outside. Right, so I'm just going to melt this and then I'm going to go and wash it, wash it out. We've got another one of these pans. I think we've got another one of these, haven't we? Not as big as that, I've got a small one. Did we get a small one? Let's get a small one. I'll do it because you nearly bend down. Cupboard. Part of the entertainment. We'll get the camera on down there. She's just bringing nothing to the cupboard. Right, let's get that over here now. Right, so go over there. Right, let's get that over there. Right, let's get that over Can I have that dirty pan so I can just put it in silk? Yeah. Yeah, let me take it down here. Yes. So if you want to make rock stones for your geo cakes, do you pour it over ice or do you make it in a lump oh, and then smash know. it? Don't know. Don't know. Don't know the help? answer. Could anybody else help me? Never uh, made Linda, it. Please. So I'm just going to get this going in the microwave again. Yes, Claire, we have used the uh, ganache kit. Carol's just doing nice and all sales now, just while we wait for the. Um, Watch things are sticking to things as well. Wait for it to set in the freezer. We're just wasting time while we wait for it to set. So Karen Davies mould. Are you going to put a silicone mat on the uh, turntable in case you spill any? In case I spill any? Why am I going to spill any? I don't spill stuff. Don't worry. Fine, I said you do as you're told and I'll do what I'm doing. <laughs>
Rachel says, Carol, get some ice out and make coral. We've got all night. <laughs> to see if anybody wants to get in the classes or the demo days or anything the last couple of days. I really need to get on with that tomorrow. I was going to do it after live tonight but I'm going to go to bed. So how many people have bought gold boxes Karen? Come on ladies I missed it before. I saw a few of you had got them. Who's waiting for theirs with, who's waiting with bated breath now for theirs to arrive? Should we do a thing where you don't open them? Don't tell anybody. Or do you want to start opening them? Maybe they're all different, aren't they, anyhow? Yeah. Oh, that's up to you. Well, Viv said that I got one. She did? She was first one. <laughs> was you number one, was you, Viv? Linda Miles has got one. Have you got one, Linda? Yeah. Paula Riley's got one. Right. Oh, you are funny, all of it. I saw it on the post. Linda Gribble's got one. I saw it on the post when um, they put John. Is uh, Linda Gribble on there? Linda Gribble's here. Yeah. Right. I've invited her to my. She's paid for my class. I've invited her to it because she enjoyed it. Back to the last one. So let's look in, a note, look in your notifications. So I've melted this in here, okay? And I'm just going to pour some in the jug. It doesn't ruin your saucepan. If you put your um, saucepan into hot water, it just dissolves in the hot water. So I'm just going to put a little bit in here. Yeah, Adele's got one as well. Oh, Nicholas Stewart, lots of people. Ah, very good. So I'm just going to put it in here, stir it. Now you can use, you can use colour splash. So you can use your gel gels if you want to. So that's it now, all one colour. Do you mean you've not ordered one yet, Geraldine? She says she's so tempted for a gold <laughs> box. <laughs> Right, okay, so I'm going to pour this in this one. Just move it around. We don't stock and sell the lovely green cake stand, I'm afraid. No, these were the Queen of Hearts stands, these. I don't know if the Queen of Hearts still do them. Valerie and Christina, go over to their site. They're like the famous buttercream girls, two beautiful girls. They've come and done lives for us loads of times. Right, so that's in there. Yeah, push that over there, isn't it? Mm Right, the only thing with this is I might have bloody corn flour in this, I wasn't thinking, was I? Right, so that's one. Right, let's do another one, got a bit more. Right, let's uh, get another glass bowl. Karen's going to be doing in the morning, don't you? Cleaning this kitchen. Melting ice and all. I'll come and take pictures show you in the morning. <laughs> right. And Karen melts all the colours together and then we make it one dark colour. And then we start the game again. Right, don't think I'll have enough of the strawberry, but I'll start. Yeah, there's the strawberry there. Yeah, like. it's not worth uh, putting your flavour shots in because That's you don't right. eat them. Don't waste your flavour yeah, shots no, on this. Yeah, no, you don't eat them. Okay. You don't need me to make any more, do you? What have I got in here now? I've just got a little drop in there. Right, what we'll do is we'll make that gold. Let's turn that on. Do 
Johnny was telling me a month afterwards. Yeah, no gloves on. Telling them to do everything, you don't do it yourself. <laughs> but uh, listen, I'm telling you all now, I told you, wear gloves. Alright, protect yourself. Use that bar right level. Right now, we've just got to wait for this to dry. Right, let's go now. Let me move all this lot out of the way now, and then let's see if my cake's ready. that clean in the kitchen is cabin. Right, let's put this in there. I'm just waiting for time now. So this won't ruin your moulds at all. Fine, won't ruin any of them. I've done two 16 hour days this week, I'm on my second 16 hour day and I've got a very unhappy husband who thinks I'm a complete idiot for doing it. But the problem with me is once I've got something on my mind, it's got to be done. And I work, I'm a bit of a control freak as you know, and I won't let it, I won't, and I have to do it myself. So I like working with Karen, because Karen gets me. And we get on with it. We get more done, me and Karen, than anybody else together. You want to see them young lads in the warehouse? We're like that. Come on, I'm fat and 60, me. Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> We're like that, running behind us, little 24 year olds, 25 year olds. Geraldine's thinking of doing gold boxes for her own warehouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Could. I bet you got duplicates of everything. Yeah, we do put those boys to shame sometimes, we do. We do. Oh, we climb the rack in everything. You want to see it when we climb the rack? We can't get down, but we can climb up. <laughs> can't we? <laughs> we climb on the roof, everything. John goes mad. Uh, two freaking old ladies climbing about. Then we're like that. Uh, right, okay. What am I waiting? Oh, cake, that's it. Right, cake, cake, cake. Let's see if it's ready. How long has this been in here, Karen? Um, an hour and a half? Yeah, sort an hour of. An hour. Yeah. Hmm. Don't think it will be ready. If it's not ready, I can show you. I want to wait till this is done. So. How's it feeling? How's it feeling? Is it feeling firm? It's coming away. What did I say? Get up before I'm not there. That was not cheesy in the last one, was it? Okay. Right, so. Now, if, it's, if you've got to pull it, it's not ready. The Carol McFarland way. Round of applause, look at that. How good is that? Oh, I see them love arts and lights for up the page. The Carol McFarland way. Look at that. Oh, look at that. 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 Look
I carry on McFarland way. Don't worry about it. Right, have we got any holes? This, watch this. Do not hot. That's going out of the way. Don't let kiddies next to it. They are, Bam. freezer, one and a half hours. Look at that. Right, I'm sitting down now. Yeah, they, they, they want you to sit down. Salmon. They're going, wow, brilliant. They're saying, your best one yet. Go and get a kettle on. They love it. It's, they said it's very nice, Carol. They're absolutely loving it. Right. Good. Well, I'm, I... Did I expected we did the other one? We put the other one in about four or past four, didn't we? Yeah, it was. Yeah. So then we've revealed it to you about half past seven, was it? Yeah. Quarter past seven, half past seven. Yeah. So that's been in longer. So that hasn't been in that time. It looks hard. Look. So it's I not love, soft. I love the ombre effect. It's absolutely beautiful. And you know it's not one we made earlier. Because you watched. Because you watched. So it's not bad, that is it? It's very nice. Yeah. And did we use all the buttercream? Yes, we used so all we of used it. So we used a kilo then. Yeah. We used a kilo And on this a six was the inch. one that split on the top. Look at it. So do you remember when I split it, I put it in the microwave far too long? And I knew that I had to be able to cool it, but I'm that tired. I didn't think of putting cold buttercream in it. So thank you, Claire Corbett, for being on the ball there. And thank you, Karen, because I don't think Karen's got any arms left. She's <laughs> <laughs> so like, oh, God, I'm sure you want it. But that's not bad, that, is it? It's and look, lovely. you haven't got any split effect. Look, at, can you zoom in now? Smooth it, it's on the top. And it's sharp corners. It's yeah. lovely sharp. Well, you know what I mean, sharp edge. It's absolutely... No, can you see from the top? Yeah, I'm looking at it. What about that, Karen, there? All right. That is absolutely, everyone is loving it, the hearts yeah. have shot the page for you, Carol. Yeah. They're saying it's fantastic, looks fabulous. Even Claire said, fabulous. Fabulous, good. Right, okay, so let's spin it around, let's have a look at it. Have we got any holes in it? Now we have got some little tiny little holes in it there, okay. But what I would do is, I wouldn't fill them in because I think it spoils it. I think this is part of its characteristics. I think they call that, was it uh, geographical holes? <laughs> yeah, I think you should leave it. Yes. So, let me see what cake board have we got here that we can put it on. So I'll get some buttercream out tomorrow, but just to make it look a bit nicer on here. Okay. But you would sit, you'd put buttercream on there. And we'll sit it on there. So these are pink masonite boards that we sell. Then if you wanted to, now you can do your drip cake. Put your, you could put your sail on it. You could put your sail on it. The sail might be square, is it? Yeah, you do. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. what this sail looks like on it. So let's look what this sail looks like on oh, it. Oh, look at <laughs> Look at that, isn't that superb? So it's a massive sale that, isn't it? So you don't have to do it that big. Now my sale is wonky, it's not the yeah, best well, that sale. Is a, that's a showstopper it's, piece, that. Yeah, but it's a wonky sale, this. This isn't, I, I, I'm not really that impressed with that. I know you look like it, but I'm not that impressed with that. I've got too many uh, thing, isn't it? I think you'll put that one on it if you wanted to. So we I've done loads of errors. Done loads of errors on this cake, you've seen it. Okay, you could do a nice drip on here now with whipping it up. She could make whipping it up royal icing, colour it and do a royal icing drip. It's perfect to do a royal icing drip on this now because the cake's gold. You could do your chocolate drip on there. Okay, so remember, so I'm going to come back and show you how to make this butter ganache. Okay, now we know how to do it. So this, um, this is um, with the tempered chocolate. So this, this, it's got ice on it at the moment. Let's bring it over here. Okay, so it is, um, it is sweating a little bit because it's come out of the freezer. Okay, so you just leave it to settle, all right? 
just leave it to settle it'll be fine just leave it to settle and let it come back to normal room temperature all right so when it's sweating just leave it alone and it'll be absolutely fine don't leave your sail on it all right so look because it starts melting all the stuff on there so, so for you ladies who are leaving us now, thanks for joining us. But we'll remember, we'll join us tomorrow it. in the pub for Laura at 7 o'clock. She's making Manchester tart. Yeah. We're leaving you now, anyhow. So Bridget's ganache and kit, I think, I, I'm tired tonight. I'm not even showing you the proper way to use it and it's worked, hasn't it? So, and this is work. So thank you, Carol Broad, because we've never done an ombre cake Beautiful. like this before. So it's pushed me there, hasn't it, to do yeah. it. So really quite pleased with that. And thank you for anybody else who helped me with a few other tips to remind me to tap the tin and stuff like that. But it's come out really well. I'm really very pleased with it. In fact, I'm actually very chuffed with it, actually. Well, I love it. Yeah, love and it. then we have to see if these are ready yet. So remember, you don't stick your finger in. These take a while. Remember the strawberry dinner. Right. So I know these are not ready yet because these are red hot underneath. I can feel how hot they are. They're boiling. So let me just see if they pop so out. Don't be, don't be messing with them then. No, just let me show you what they're to do. I've said, do as I say, not as I do. So. <laughs> I tried, John. I tried. <laughs> Right, okay, so girls, look, can you see it now? It's lifting. Can you see it lifting? So it's lifting off there, but it's not ready. All right, so th this is the mistake I made last time. It was lifting. I went and stuck my finger in the middle there, so it wasn't, it wasn't ready. So you can see it's nearly ready. So I can show you the... Oh, those who are in the hub will get to see them tomorrow. So when are we back on there, this page again? I'm not going to be on here for a while now, another two weeks or so, isn't we'll it? We'll put photos up, though. Yeah, we'll put photos up. Okay. So, let's see. Oh, this has got buttercream on it now, because I've just used a buttercream knife. So, in a second, let's turn that round. Take my buttercream off. <laughs> that was a bit dumb, picking it up with a buttercream knife, wasn't it? Right. Let's see if we can get the other ones out. So a lot of people are definitely going to get the kits out of the boxes a minute ago. Pam yeah. Allen Webby loves the ombre cake. Good. That might be still up. Raspberry. What else have we got here? Passion fruit. Is it kiwi? That's, that's not ready yet, it's but still bending. But you can see it works in the moulds, yeah? And it won't damage your moulds. That one's not ready to come out yet, so you know when they're ready to come out. And that's the big one, that won't be ready that for a long time. It's starting to pull away, but it's not ready. All right, so I'm just gonna behave myself and do what I say, leave it alone. <laughs> Careful and have patience and wait for to go cold. Yeah, they're not as shiny though when they come out of the moulds. So thank you very much. I hope you all go and buy a Bridges Ganashing kit because they're great fun. These ladies invented it, okay? It was invented by a lady called Bridget, and what she used to make is she used the liner. So this liner didn't have any writing on it, it was just this clear, and then she had a clip. I think at the time she used a big what those big um things that you clip papers with. Paper clip. Yeah, the one of those giant ones. I think that's what she started off with. And that's what she did a chocolate biscuit cake in. And then she came up with the idea of using it for ganache. So she is the original lady from Ireland. She's a lovely girl. And if you're in Ireland, go and buy them from Bridget's Cake Room. If you're here in the UK, come and buy them off us. And um, you'll love them. We do five inch, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, We've got no 11s and I think we have two 12s left and that's it, okay? So we're in stock, come and grab them. You'll enjoy it. It's the easiest way to get sharp edges on a cake. I can't get them that sharp. It's, I can only do it this way, yeah? Super duper. All right then, so thank you very much for staying the extra half an hour. I'm sorry I've not been 100%, but I think you've all enjoyed it anyhow, haven't you? They certainly have and you've yeah. been great. Right, and thanks, Karen, because you're just as tired as me, it's aren't you, love? And thanks, Simon, who's not just as tired as us. I'm more tired. Don't <laughs> <laughs> be giving us that. How much sleep have you had? Right. Cheerio, everyone. Thanks, thanks very much. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow.